Um, what is this? Effin sending me all the freaking crystals. All right, here, let me play some. Let me get some other music popped up here or something. Um, yeah, Mori is a very talented person. I miss, I miss being able to like do, do stuff. All right, I don't know if I like that one. Mm, I don't know if I want to do, we'll do this one. I like the jazzy stuff. I love it because it's Animal Crossing. <laughs> they got cute. <laughs> it's like people made like a little out, like a little, uh, I don't know. De they designed whatever this is. And then they have like them just AFKing or the, just being like NPCs and walking around in it. And they just put music over it. I love this. It's such a vibe. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Good morning! How are you doing today? Happy Monday! <laughs> Happy Monday! Crazy! It's already Monday. Good morning! What type of game is this? It's an MMO. MMORPG. We've been playing it for the past year. It's kind of been slow with gaming and um... But this game, I've really, I've really been enjoying this. I've been enjoying it so much, I've been playing it off stream. And uh, that's uh, rare. It's a rare thing. Usually I like to save and experience games when I, when I am streaming. So that's kind of the reason why I never really play any off stream. Because I'm like, I'll just save the way I feel about this game until I play it. But that really hasn't, that hasn't been the case for this game. I mean, for some aspects, it has been. Ugh. I wish I had more homestead stones. I need a friggin' homestead stones to plant these. Stop, I can only plant three! Is this done? No, not yet. So it does Ragnarok. Oh, so wait, what do you mean? Rag wait, what do you mean, Tony? Hi, Orca. Good morning. It is a lifestyle. <laughs> My fantasy life. I imagine you might also get tired of playing games all day. Yeah, some days I really just need to get off the computer and like go outside <laughs> or something. Um, like do other stuff. I don't really have any hobbies anymore outside of gaming though. I really need to get a new one, but I feel like I feel like winter time is usually like my hibernation. <laughs> and then summer is when I or spring summer is when I start getting a little bit more active and go doing like go try other things. Thanks, doggy. How are you? Time to raid bandits for homestead stones? No, they only give me like three, right? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I don't want to go all the way over there just to get three. Or do all that just to get three. I'm assuming it's three. From what I can remember when I was trying it out. <laughs> Am I going to go to Japan this year? Maybe! <laughs> I don't really understand what's going on with Tom's work, but, uh, I, oh, oh, that's fine. I don't really care what that is. Um, he's not able to ask time off yet, which is so strange to me, and I try to understand it, but I don't know. I think it's a Japanese culture work culture thing. I don't really understand it. He I try he tried to explain it to me, but I still didn't really understand him. Anyways, TLDR, yes, but we don't know when. It's so weird. Like he he said he's been trying to talk to everybody about like taking time off, but I guess they're like in a really big like project at the moment, so he can't ask for it off. <sighs> I don't know. It's confusing. 
So we haven't got like any any of our, our any of our flights or anything like that yet. So I'm kind of like. Tom, it's only gonna go up in price. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna be able to go if the ticket's like 3K, buddy. Just letting you know. Hopefully it goes down. I mean, I have it tracked right now and it went down like $500, but that's like nothing when you look at the price of the ticket. Time to get into baking and make all those awesome desserts. <laughs> That would be nice. Just like make desserts while watching like the Korean cafes, like that cake video we watched yesterday. <laughs> My creations would not be that good though. <clears throat> if you have some one commerce and follow them as a bounty, that's true. I could get like extra homestead passes faster. Uh, is there anything else I need to do? I'm good. Um, I want to pause this because I want to listen to that music, but I want to do Generation 3 today, and I like having, like, the Mabinogi music on when we're doing these. I guess we'll do that. <clears throat> 50 stream streak. Thanks, Orca. <clears throat> but, yes, Japan TBD, but apparently it will happen. I just don't know when or... <laughs> I, just, I don't know. We'll see. I really want to go because I want to, like, see his niece and just see his friends again and see Japan again. So, 3K. I mean, I might be exaggerating, but no, I don't think I'm exaggerating. I feel like if you wait too long to get flights, then, yeah, they jack up the price by a lot. We had that happen when we switched EHR systems at the hospital. They blacked out like six months of dates where they were. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't really know. What's the cheapest, closest destination? Just swim the rest of the way. <laughs> I like that you think I'm a good swimmer, Orca. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not. Uh, that would be intense. <laughs> I know you're kidding. Um, let's see. Where where do I have to go? Let's see. Christelle. Oh, to Barton. Ah, right. Where we left off. Oh, God. I can't remember. <laughs> what are we doing? I haven't heard the Barton music in a while. Yeah, for my business trip in April, they booked it this month because it was at cheaper prices. Really? Maybe it's cheaper to book early or book later. I don't know. I have to go back to Asia end of the year, but I don't know where yet. You ha oh, you hope to, not have to. Sorry, hope to. <sighs> probably Zane. That's probably it. Um. What am I doing? Thank you for coming. I was actually quite surprised when Bishop Willow told me about your work. Here, hold on, let me change my title. I'm not entirely certain whether people started starting to know about what you did is a good thing, but either way, it shows how important a figure you've become in a rather short amount of time. I forgot what happened in Generation 3. What's going on? What's happening again? I'm going to all these different people. But I can't remember why. What are we doing? Oh, we have to fix the goddess statues that are destroyed in like the different towns. Got it. Cause Rarari is like destroying them. Got it, got it. He's on the dark side. Anyway, there are more pressing matters at hand, just as we fear destroyed goddess statues have ha had have been found in the dungeons around Dumbarton. First we'll need you to enter the dungeons, flesh out the formers once you have. That will allow myself and other members of clergy to enter and hold a ritual. She will fill me in. Got it. I'll be taking care of other preparations, so feel free to head over to the town office. Okay. All right. To Avon. Avon. Hi, Doo Doo. <laughs> What's Doo Doo doing? Um, since big IT projects can take like a year to implement, uh, if there are a lot of moving parts, yeah. He also said that like. It's like a Japanese 
saying, or at least everybody gets it, at least in his company, like if you go over to some place internationally, so obviously America is the example, for two years, um, as like a like a perk or a bonus that they get is that the company will pay for two weeks um, to fly him to Japan and like have a vacation there for two weeks, like all expenses paid. Um, so I wonder if that's also another thing, like he has to get like that approved and that kind of takes a lot of work. I don't know. But <laughs> that's only for him. That's not for me, <laughs> so I still have to pay. Hello, are you enjoying commerce? Oh, looks like you already have a commerce wagon, don't you? Hold on. Uh, thanks for your patience. What is this for? What commerce? Why are you talking about commerce? This is another quest. It's another quest, isn't it? Ah! A bomb. There it is. Welcome to Dumbarton. I manage the Employer Explorers League. Can I help you? Oh, you're the one who's here to help restore the damaged goddess statues. Please pardon my surprise. Anyway, I've been waiting for you since Christelle told me you'd come by. According to the reports of nearby explorers, the damaged goddess statues are both in the Rabi and Math dungeons. We're going to restore the statue at Rabi dungeon first and then move on to Math. Since you helped in several other dungeons already, I'm sure you already know that you'll need a dungeon pass, right? Rabi is filled with bats, mimics, skeletons. At worst, you might face some skeleton wolves, so be careful. Uh, once you wipe out the formers in Rabi, Christelle will go over, or will go and restore the statue. Uh, good luck. Okay. All right. Let's go to Rabi Dungeon then. Did I get the? Did I get the pass? Oops. Okay. Good. Did. All right. To the dungeon. Ravi. Oh, that was for the growth guide. Got it. Aren't you Tom's tech support? Friends slash support fly free. Right? That's what we gotta... We gotta argue that, DSS. We gotta argue that. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I wonder... I wonder if they do that. I'm not sure. Oh, is this one where you just walk in and she like already restores it and you don't even have to do the dungeon? I think that's what this is. I can't remember. There, these used to be such a pain back then. Oh, why is that? Support girlfriend, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Orca. Oh, nope, I, I have to do it. Da -da 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 -da. Make these dungeons seem so scary. Oh, rats! Oh no, what will we do? <laughs> should I be picking up these finny gems? Probably should, huh? Pick it up. Posture check, thank you. I have the worst posture ever. It's because I play games all day. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's see. I don't know which chest has the key. Oh. Oh, there we go. That one wasn't sleeping. Um, please be this one. No. I'm gonna get attacked by these wolves. Ah! Hold. Hold the f hold the phone. There we go. Oh, this is already at the boss room. Oh, easy. Ooh, a succubus. Didn't y'all say something about if I like do a certain? Oh, that might she's dead. If I do a certain thing, it makes <laughs> makes me get her outfit or something. Hi, Majona. How are you doing? Okay, she's praying to the goddess statue now to restore it. I'm not going to read that, because it's always the same sentence. Bum, bum. Ooh. Restore the dungeons! This is to prevent the formers from waging a war 
on our land. But I feel like it's inevitable. I'm working on my husband's website this morning. <gasps> cool, what's his website about? You're like a graph, a website artist, graphic artist. I'm gonna keep you entertained. I will try my best. I will try my, we're doing story right now. We're basically preventing a war that's about going to happen. We have to go through all these dungeons and like seal the cracks that that keep these bad people away from the land. The <laughs> TLDR. Um, let's see. We got. I gotta go to. Oh, this is where Ravi Dungeon is. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I think I need to go talk to Christelle now. Let's see. No, I have to go talk to Evan. Just kidding. She told me to go to Christelle afterwards. Okay. All right. Fine with me. Oh, oops. I didn't read it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Go do math dungeon. Okay. <laughs> I think, I think I'm used to skipping stuff. My bad. All right. Let's go do math dungeon now. I dabble in web development, so I maintain the website for my husband's home inspection company. Oh, well, that's cool. I wish I knew more about like HTML and CSS. I like taught myself um, about HTML and CSS. Like I, I like would look it up and read about it only because I was trying to make my user lookup on Neopets look good. And that's how I learned. <laughs> Because of Neopets. That that game uh, provided a lot for me. Entertainment wise and uh, I don't know, learning a coding language. <laughs> like what? <laughs> ah. Great motivation. It really was. It was. Like I wanted my lookup to like be unique and pretty. Was it nice? No, it was the worst. But I, back then I thought it was great because I was like, oh, look at this amazing coding. Wow, I, I, that's when I learned about hex codes. <laughs> and that white was F -f 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 -f. Amazing. Did you get your Neo pet? Oh no, not yet. Apparently I'm supposed to use this email, which I have access to, but I didn't use the email to like request a new password. First it was like trying to figure out the birthday and then when I go and do that, I try to enter like the password or try to get a password but they're like, oh, you can't get your password. I don't know, it's like a lot of steps but I haven't done it yet. Soon, soon though, doo doo, soon. Soon, I can feel it. I'll have access. <laughs> oh, hellhounds. Goodbye, hellhounds. Oh shoot, whoa, what's going on? Just a little further in. Oh, they're almost, oh shoot, what's going on? So the formers have come this far? We cannot let the goddess statue be destroyed again. All units, engage the enemy, stop them at all costs. Oh no, it's a war. A battle at math dungeon. At least I assume this is math. Oh my god, look at the slow motion. <laughs> oh look, there's Rari. Hmm. Paladin trainees, huh? You guys still make me sick. Who are you? Wait, no, it couldn't be. I am the truth, your ilk have has re Wait, I am the truth your ilk has turned its face from. Abandoned by the god who turned a deaf ear to my cries, a dark night. You are soldiers in service to a deception and it's high time you paid for your ignorance. Formers, charge! Destroy the statue! Dang! Hold the line, paladins! Don't let our formation be broken! <laughs> it's intense with the music and everything. <laughs> it's so edgy, yeah, so edgy. Impossible! How are they so strong? Gah! No other choice! Everyone, fall back! Retreat! Let me at him. Let me at him. Paladins, only the weakest could see strength in that in in that rabble. Miss Kylie, 
where are you? I'm going to find you when I do. I'll kill you. I'm just kidding. You'll pay for your sins. I'm here. Where are they? <laughs> I'm here. Come at me. Ooh, I got a loot. Goodbye, loot. All right, what's next? Uh, talk to Evan again. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess the easiest way is just flying there. No, I guess, I guess technically this is, but this is like a beyond lazy. <laughs> it's only like a little bit closer. Yeah, it's loot loot. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, Evon. Um, the goddess touches have been restored. Things in no small part to you. Unfortunately, while you were busy, here, the form was, oh, we're attacking the dungeon here in Maine. Okay, so that wasn't in math. That makes sense. Paladin Knights sustained heavy damage fending them off. I am also, I've also received a few concerning reports that some of the statues re you recently restored are already being targeted again. What is the point? You should be careful out there. It's a dangerous time to be an adventurer. The last remaining dungeons are in the vicinity of Tyr. The priest there will likely be in touch with you soon. All right, to tier. Wait, right? If they're just gonna keep destroying them, what's the point of doing this? Mevin? Who's Mevin? Mev, oh. Mevin? Uh, okay, he's up there. Oh, he's in the church. That makes sense. All right, Mavon. Oh my, what? <laughs> okay, I flew backwards. Hello, Mevin. <sighs> Limalark, Limalark has guided you here. Ah, oh, I've been waiting for you. I've heard much of you already. Not only did you rescue the goddess, you've also become the Knight of Light. Eight Knight of Light. I wish to discuss the statue of the goddess that has been destroyed in dungeons across Aaron. These acts concern me greatly and Willow the head priest suggested you as someone to whom I should reach out. I've heard that other towns have been bested or beset by these troubles and indeed a number of destroyed statues of the goddess have recently been discovered in the dungeons near Tyr. If you wish to know more, you ought to speak with Trevor for the time being and Delon and I uh, will have our hands full preparing the restoration ritual. I'm guessing that's the lady outside. All right, to Trevor. Trevor, I'm coming. The music outside of Dumbarton is my favorite. I kind of, I like it too. I like it too. Okay, wait. Uh, Trevor. Where's Trevor again? Trevor's by the foxes, right? They should get Freerin on it. Freerin. <laughs> they should. Should be great. Greatest mage ever. Welcome. Yay, I didn't know you would really come. Oh, of course I didn't think it was a joke when I heard rumors about how you saved the goddess or that you became a knight of light. Anyway, we don't have time for this kind of chit chat. I'm sure you've heard of the gist, what's going on, of what's going on from Mevin. What, you haven't? You mean I need to explain? You know, there are two dungeons near Tyr, Ciar and Albi. Uh, the, there are reports of a damaged goddess statue in both dungeons. First, I'll ask you to help with Ciar, um, and then Albi, okay. Heading to Ciar, all right, got it. Yes, good, sounds great. All right, to CR. Can I like right click and then just take me? No, okay, all right. I wanna ride around on a sheep cloud that trails love glitter. <laughs> 
The love glitter uh, is actually from my wings, but isn't it cute? I like I like the pets that are in this game slash mounts pet mounts. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck was that? All right, let's do the dungeon. I'm great at restoring statues. I am. I am, I am. Okay. My exploration has leveled. Wow, I'm already level 105? What the heck? Uh. Oh wait, I can, I can do this while on my pet. I should probably put my puppet on, but I'm too lazy. Oh god. I open I did all of them but the right one. Oh, I meant for you, but you're good too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Jai. It's a goblin archer. Uh oh, what's happening? Oh no. This isn't good. Oh, it's... Oh. Metal skeleton! No! <laughs> I'm so short. <laughs> you can't even see my face. Oh my god. It's just my halo. Did I drop the... I usually don't get the boss cutscene. I guess I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now they're doing the ritual to restore the statue. It's like Final Fantasy XIV all over again. Um, <laughs> at least they, at least they say Miss Kylie instead of Miss. <laughs> Every time I do a cutscene, granted my first name is Miss, so it makes sense, but like, <laughs> what? Mistress Miss. Yes, that is I. <laughs> Thank you for calling me forth. Flash bang every time. Good job, Indol Indolin. I think that's your name. Great work. Where am I going? This way. All right, now I gotta head to Albi. Is there anything? Go Ooh, building stone. I need that. CR boss trial dungeon pass. Eh. Eh. All right, let's see here. Do we have to go talk to that guy again? Okay, yeah, Trevor. Is CR, where is CR in relation to here? Oh, it's like around. <sighs> Furin's been great. We watched episode three yesterday. I really like it. I'm hey, not gonna lie though, the last episode I kind of got busy. And I had some issues. Um, like with my comp not my computer. I think I was working on something, so I couldn't, I couldn't pay attention to the whole episode. So I need to go rewatch the episode two. Good morning, Effin. All right, go do Albi next. Got it. Got it, sir. Got it. I think this is Albi dungeon. Is Eridus here to watch you do this? <laughs> yeah, I think so. 
<laughs> I think he's here. Why does it always show this? Is it just so that show that she's here with us in the dungeon? I guess that's what that is. Do y'all have, this is such a super random question, but do y'all have a part-time job? I'm not talking about Mavi. Do y'all have a part-time job that you did when you were like, I don't know, high school, college, now that you really enjoyed? Is there anything that y'all found like fun? that you actually enjoyed it, but you just did it because, I don't know, you wanted a little money on the side from like when you were in high school. I did Walgreens. I didn't like that though. <laughs> Is there even a part-time job out there that was ni that's nice and fun? I'm proud of her doing her gins. <laughs> Kill me! Ooh, I got the boss key. I miss doing online order shopping at the grocery store. What's that? Online order, so people put in on an order, you go shopping around for them. What made you enjoy it, doo doo? I wanna know more. <gasps> oh no, he's caught up to me! Not an Albi dungeon! So you finally shown yourself, regardless of how much time has passed or how much my appearance may have changed, I've never forgotten what you did that day. Now die! Oh! He got me. He got me, chat. Come on, show your power as a paladin. Try to kill me just like you killed Rian. Bro, I did it! Ha ha, is that all you can muster? I guess that's all I should have expected of a hypocrite. Now taste my steel. Woo! Gosh dang. I intend to see you pay for your misdeeds with your life. Oh no. Can't you see why I'm not fighting? Oh wait, I'm angry now. Oh, shoot. Wait, what happened? <laughs> there is still hesitation in your blade, Rari. Oh, it's Chicho. The world we dream of will never be born if you still struggle with such rank, with such rank underlings. Wait, what? Hmm, you're that interloper from before. The Dorka Fedain. Uh, may not yet be ready to sortie. But even so, I did not expect such a lowly being would prove such a pest. Wow, okay, bro. Perhaps I ought to cut this loose thread before the whole cloth unravels. Oh no, he's doing his magic against me. Oh, Price with the winky face. What? Who are you? Haha, -ha, you'll have to pardon me for cutting on your fun, but I'll... How, where did he appear from? <laughs> what? Uh, but I'll be taking my friend here with me. After all, they still have much to do. See you around. Oh, he saved me. Goodbye, losers. Should we follow? Heh, <laughs> no, this is fine. Let me make this crystal clear, Rari. Our goal is not to chase petty vendettas but to wage a war to lay waste to the human's world. Personal feelings have no place here. <gasps> the humans are already restoring the goddess statues. Your present course will accomplish nothing more than a meaningless war of attrition. Once you have destroyed the goddess statue, focus your efforts on delaying their restoration. All you need to do is buy time enough for Triona to awaken as Maka. What? A maha. <laughs> Matcha. <laughs> what? She's trying to awaken as her? Whoa. After that, you shall le lead the Dorka Fedain and raise the human world, sparing nothing. Morgan has already fallen into my trap. Remember what I told you. The plot thickens.
da, 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 da. This should do it. Let us return. Morgan, is laying waste to the human world really what this is all about? Is bringing disaster upon mankind really what you wanted? How could you? You owe me some answers, Morgan. What of Triona? What are you planning to do with do to her? Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, the plot thickens even more. Ari, do you trust me? I use what I can, Chicho included. Whatever cruel fate may come, I ask that you trust me. But at present, that is as much as I can tell you. Interesting. Is he not trying to attack the humans? Oh my god, Christ, my savior! Wait, what's his other name again? His real name? Uh. No, oh, I forgot. Oh, Radir. Yeah, there we go. Radir. Alright, do I have to talk to him? No! What? I don't have to talk to him? I have to go talk to Tarlock. Okay. Thank you for for helping me. Goodbye. To Tarlock. Um, let's see. That's like HEV pickup, but the other side. I still enjoy my one day a week barista job. Ooh. Tell me why you, I want to know why y'all like it. I liked working at Kohl's, but the shifts flew by and I didn't mind doing register when it was slow in my department, but I also was on shoes and houseware, so less busy sections. Ah, uh, I see. I used to work at a place called Winners in Canada. It's like TJ Maxx. Oh my god, I hated it. <laughs> I was always in the kid department, and parents would just like leave their kids to like bait like and then I'd have to I wouldn't have to but it was basically like they wanted me to babysit and watch their kid while they went shopping and I was like no no does this look like a daycare to you no and then the kids would like open up all of like the toys oh my god it was a mess I hated that uh it was like shopping with someone's money but it was their groceries then we wait for them to come pick it up at the store it was it was just super easy. Oh yeah, see that sounds nice and relaxing. Especially if you like grocery shopping, which I love grocery shopping. That does sound nice. Um, oh God, that sounds bad, Zang. <laughs> I don't know. No one was nearby. I spent a lot of time just organizing the floor and making it look neat. Yeah, it's good to know that nobody got hurt. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Uh, I much preferred that job over my theme park job. You worked at a theme park? Interesting. All right, let's talk to Tarlock. Wait until nighttime. Can't talk to him unless he's a man. So you have made it through the barrier and come to this desolate place. I'm glad you're all right, Kylie. I was actually corresponding with the Archbishop just now regarding Maka. I haven't found out much about Dorka Fedain yet, but it seems to be referring to those who call on Maka's name and are vested with her power. Oh. Maka, the goddess of destruction, has the power to unify the minds of warriors. She bestows her vengeance and anger onto each and every soldier who represents her. Dang. And what controls them? It is not the one who is empowered by the blessing of nature, but by the wrath and sadness of mankind, the fallen night of light, the dark night. Dang. Morgan. Talk to the wandering merchant Price. Okay, where was Price at? Price is at Tear. Okay. You never had a part-time job like that? I was a TA, a research assistant, while I was working on my master's, but that was more of the same. Uh, still, like, a little job, right? You got paid for doing that, didn't you? Okay, wait, where's Price? Uh, 
Oh, here he is. Hmm, the dork of Fenain, did that rogue fellow from before tell you that? I guess it has something to do with the former invasion, but honestly, I have no hard proof. I went there just to check on things because I heard you hadn't returned since you first entered the Albi dungeon to restore the goddess statues. By the way, Emain Maka's captain of the guard seemed to be fretting over you, so I just told him you're the type who goes all in whatever you do. Of course, I haven't forgotten about how you saved me from Tapardis. Well, if you want to know more about the whole Dork of Fedding thing, your best bet is probably heading to Maine and asking Adohan. Honestly, you should probably pay him a visit anyway, just to say thank you. Okay. Alright, to Maine. I have to double check. Sometimes they're like, you need to go do this, but it's not the same. It is the same, though. I've been a barista for 18-ish years, and for the last 15, I've been on staff for a super small craft roaster coffee shop slash farmer's market espresso stand. Oh, my boss is lovely. The community is great. And right now, wait, I remember you telling me, you told me about this. I guess I just, I forgot. I'm sorry, Madrona. Yeah, that sounds super cute. At like a farmer's market? What the heck? That's adorable. I spent all Saturday making lattes. I bet you're so good at making lattes. Yeah, you did get paid? Okay. Cute. <laughs> I always kind of thought it would be fun to like work at like a bakery. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Could be fun. Wait, where am I heading? I hate this piece of hair. Um. I need to head to Adohan. Okay, so that's this way. I can't wait to get my hair cut. I'm so tired of my hair. So tired. Okay, sir, I am here. What what do you need? It's good to see you back safe. Were you hurt? Ah, so you want to know more about the Dorka Fedain? I can't say that I know too much, but out of curiosity, where did you hear that? Hear about them? So you met the Dark Knight and the God of the Formers. Oh, Miss Kylie, I know what I'm about to tell. I know what I'm about to tell you may seem untoward, especially given all you have done for this community. But it's a discussion we need to have. Let me unsummon my pet. It is my firm belief that no lone individual can single-handedly save the world, even if that individual is the Knight of Light, like you. This whole mindset that you can shoulder this burden yourself, that only you can save this world from complete destruction, sooner or later, it's you who will burn out and fall to ruin. I wanted to tell you this as someone who has experienced it firsthand. I pray you don't take it the wrong way. As for the Dork of Fedain, if you want to know more, you ought to ask a druid or a scholar. I'll make some inquiries within the order as well. Gosh dang! Oh, you may not want to work at a bakery since some need you to come in at like 3 a.m. to bake the bread. Oh god, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Talk to Tarlock at today. Okay. All right. Back to Tarlock. All right, sir. Hello. I'm here. I'm glad you're all right. I've actually been corresponding with the Arch Archbishop regarding Maka. I haven't found out much about Dorka Fedain yet, but it seems to be referring to those who call on Maka's name and are vested with her power. Maka is the goddess of destruction, has the power to unify the will of war. Wait, hasn't he just said this to us? She bestows her, she bestows her vengeance and anger onto each and every soldier who represents her and what controls them. That is not the... That is not the one who is empowered by the blessing of nature, but the wrath. Yes. Where did you hear this about the story? What? What did you say? Rari? Rari is alive? A dark knight? Rari? But that's impossible. How could he become a dark knight? Wait then, what about Mari? Do you know anything about Mari? Wow, this is the first time we told him about Rari. Dang. Mari is Moore's daughter and the soul guide? Now? 
You look stunned. How? How could this be? I'm sorry, can you please give me some time to process this? Why don't you talk to Father Mevin and Tyr about Dorka? Okay. Oh my god, it's literally Dorka. It's Dorka! Orka! It's you! <laughs> Dorka! I literally just made the connection. <laughs> Everybody's been calling Orka Dorka because it's drowned Orka. <laughs> it's short. <laughs> oh my god, I need to go use the restroom. Um, me head to Mevin first. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Alright. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, guys. How far are we? Oh, we're on the third slice. Oh, we're almost done. I think. We're almost. Oh, no, we're here. We just began. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Can you imagine that we spent a whole generation without telling about his friends? I know. I literally thought that he knew already. I mean, the thing is, I don't remember them saying that Mari is now until right now. Like, obviously, you guys told me. But, like, it never was told to me until now that Mari is now. Or however you say the goddess's name. At least I don't think so. I don't know, maybe it was during that, that time where my fire alarm was going off and I could barely pay attention to what was going on. Um, but yeah, he's like, they're alive? What? It was shown during the end, but not expi expli- Oh, explicitly said. Oh, but it was shown? Oh, I guess I didn't make that connection then. Got it. Yeah, so Tarlock just needs to come with me and uh, say, Stop, Rari! It's you! I wanted to mention that. You were of great help restoring the statue of the goddess. I know we have the chief here, but on behalf of this great town, I want to thank you for your hard work. Anyway, about the Dork of Fidane that you wanted to know more of, if you heard that name while battling against the former, then I believe the former are planning a massive war in the near future. Dorkafenein means the army of darkness, an elite former army that serves as Maka's protector. I know this isn't something a priest should say, but they look like a bunch of evil creatures hungry for blood. Way back when the first war took place on the fields of Mag Turid, Maka didn't even provide them with additional power, and yet so many lives were lost at the hands of this notorious army. And now we're talking about Maka instilling each and every soldier with her anger and hatred towards humans? I don't even want to think about what's going to happen next. Please be careful. Dorka Fede is a very, very dangerous group. Alright, we have learned that they are indeed evil and bloodthirsty. Got it. Wouldn't have known that unless he told me. Alright, to Tarlock. <laughs> They do a lot of repeating. It's okay though. Sometimes I need it. All right, Tarlock, are you are you uh, okay now? You received Mari's arrow. What? Well, there you are. I asked you to come back because there's something I felt I needed to tell you. I thought that more than anyone, you would be able to understand why I feel this way. So I worked up the metal to speak openly about it. As you know already, I failed to save those dearest to me. Afterward, though, I made no effort to find out what became of them, using my disabled body to rationalize my inaction. But in my heart, I knew I couldn't face everyone who remembered them, uh, because I surely would have encountered in my... Or people I surely would have encountered in my search. I didn't know how I could apologize for what had happened to them. I want to see Mari. Well, technically, now I suppose, even just once would be enough. I want to see with my own eyes that she's alive, that she's safe. Faith is not enough. I want to know she is well. Did they ever, even though they showed it, Doctor, did they explain, like, how that became to be? How she became now? Is it because she, like, died and got, like, rebirthed as now? I, I guess I just don't understand. I would like an explanation. And I want to tell her I'm sorry that I couldn't save her. Could you find out if there is anyone in Aaron among the two of the Den Denan who knows now? If they know how I could see her? 
You just got a rebirth, Tarlock. Mari used to use this back then. I don't know if it would be a, be much help, but if you could show it while you're asking around, I'd appreciate it. Okay, I have to go show people a broken arrow. Hi, Sanger. Good morning. We are doing Gen Three. I think I'd like to finish it, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Talk to Now's friend Duncan. Duncan is what? Okay. I don't think they explained how she became now, but I don't remember clearly. I'll have to look it up. Okay, all good. All good. Alright, apparently Duncan is now's friend, so... Oh, he probably has other quests for me. Uh, nope, we're good. You tell Duncan what Tarlock said. I didn't think he blamed himself to that extent. It was simply her fate. Now as well, she doesn't harbor the kinds of feelings towards this world that Tarlock does or suspects she does. Mari has been a transcendent being who dwells in a different realm from us. Now cannot interact with the people of Eren directly as I can, though I do not yet understand why that is. Only those guided to Eren from the soul stream, the people from beyond the stars we call militians, can hear her and receive her receive of her aid it is difficult to no it is difficult for normal folk to even per perceive her presence not that i said difficult note that i said difficult not impossible if someone just wanted to meet her they could provided they could get their hands on a spirit potion that potion is capable of helping powers foreign to this world manifest here at erin even i had to use one to see now here, take this spirit potion of Tarlock. I pray it will allow him to finally ease the burden that has weighed on his heart for so many years. Actually, hold on a moment. Before you go, I think there's something you ought to know. I've heard that the Lord of Amain Maka passed away some time ago. So, <clears throat> so you can speak... So can speak to you of matters I couldn't before. Do you perchance know who it was that hurt Now's father and took her mother's life? Uh, indeed, it was none other than the Lord of Amain Maka. Blinded by his lust for power, the Lord laid hold of what was rightfully Moors by ex uh, excising his existence from Aaron. He could not accept that Moors, a commoner, was doing greater things than a nobleman like himself. What? Is this the reason? Ultimately, he allowed Moors only the martyr's honor of a hero who died to save the realm rather than the power he could have had in his lifetime. <clears throat> it may be difficult to believe, but this is the truth. Though, had word reached that Lord's ears that I knew... Hold on. Though, had word reached that Lord's ears that I knew what transpired, I doubt even this little village would have escaped unscathed. That is why, for so many years, I kept this secret to myself. There, that's a weight off my chest, too. Anyway, off with you now. Go and give that potion to Tarlock. Wow. The Lord is a poopoo head for doing that to Moors. Poor Moors. Jeez, he was just surviving and thriving, and this guy's like, you thriving too hard, bro. Alright, let's go back to Tarlock. This is kind of nice. I like that he can go and see Mari. You just got a rebirth. Exactly. It seems Morgan fused Mari with an unknown goddess to create now. Is that to, like, save her life because Mari basically was, like, on the brink of death? Kind of like Rari was at the end of G1. Pretty much. Oh, okay. All right. I'll accept it. Deal. Got it. Absorb. You're back already? I don't know how to thank you. I see. So you're saying Mari is no longer a part of this world. I suppose it's to be expected. Thank you. You've helped me achieve a sense of resolution. I've... Uh, I've desired for so many years. Even if I can't speak with Mari, with now, I mean, I'll be happy as long as I can see her and if she can hear my voice. I don't know how to thank you. 
I've already asked far too much of you, so I'll do the research myself on the spell I'll need to see her. Truly, I will never forget all you've done for me. That's really nice. That's nice. I like that quest. That's a nice quest. All right, we need to go to, to James. So Tarlock said his disabled body. Does that mean he can't come to us? Or come with us to like encounter Rari? Because wouldn't Rari just immediately stop like being a dark knight if he saw if he sees Tarlock and that Tarlock is still alive? Right? Like wouldn't that like I don't know, maybe not. I don't really I don't know. Is this where I have to go? I think this, yeah, this is where I have to go. But I guess he can't go. He think he was a doppelganger? True, he might think that... That's not him! You can just transform! <laughs> true, true that. Michael, hi! Thank you for the 99 months, hello! If only they had phones, am I right? <laughs> You're just using a voice changer. But <laughs> phones would be great. Not gonna lie. Because then I would have to go here and talk to him face to face. Link Pearl. Hi, Michael. Thank you for the 99. It's almost been 100. Holy cow. It seems Tarlock insta dies if he leaves that circle. Oh. Okay, never mind. Fair enough. I guess when I, I guess when he said he was talking to like the main people, that I thought he was actually going there. But never mind. <laughs> that makes sense. Thank you for coming. While I was poring over some old records, I came across some information pertinent to your inquiries. It com it concerns Maka's resurrection. In short, Maka's resurrection has already occurred. She now waits only to be awakened. Right, and that's where that girl is coming, coming from. Also, Rari thinks that we killed her, right? No, no, he thinks that we killed Rian because Rian was in that golem thing. But it wasn't us that did that. It was the lady, the evil lady, who's using him as a puppet. Which was messed up. Do you recall how the tragedy of a main was first set in motion? Most accounts agree that it began when Ezra's tricked Radir into kidnapping a former child and the Dark Lord's forces attacked and made in retaliation. What? Oh, I, I guess I don't remember that. Okay, Ezra's tricked Radir into kidnapping a former child. Oh, the Dark Lord forces attacked and made in retaliation. Okay, wow. Uh, but do you really think they invaded and made conscious of the losses they would incur all for the sake of one child? I now believe that child was, in fact, the reincarnation of Maka. Oh, I see. I've examined this incident from every angle, and that is the only explanation that seems plausible. That child is the key to the former's prosperity. There, were, there was no way they could leave her in human hands. The destroyed statues were just the beginning. I fear the former's in, intend to awaken Maka and set Aaron ablaze. Hope is not lost, however. I have checked the signs and port and do not believe the child has fully awakened yet. The crux of our plan, then, is to prevent the child from awakening as Maka. We could accomplish this by bringing her here, or by destroying whatever implements are needed to induce the awakening, if such thing exists. For now, I'd like you to share what I've told you with the priestess of Dumbarton. Knowledgeable as she is in many facets of former culture and lore, it is she who is mostly mostly likely to know what is required for Maka's resurrection and what we might do to prevent it. Okay. To Christelle. It was never mentioned. This is all new information. Oh, okay. Well, dang. What is the girl's name again? Tri Trion Trioni? I forgot her name. Interesting. So they stole her. Triona. 
Triona, yeah. Okay, so Triona. They stole Tri- They kidnapped- Radir kidnapped Triona. Or Ezris wanted to- Okay, that's crazy. Okay, they- why do, I don't know. My bad. I always- I think it's because I don't do this, like, straight back to back. That's why I'm like, oh, this must have been mentioned earlier. <laughs> nope. You were sent by James, yes? You're looking for a way to stop Maka's resurrection? To stop the Goddess of Destruction from reawakening? A former child who's suspected of being Maka. I see. Yes, I understand. If what James told you is true, then the child hasn't become Maka just yet. There's something I heard a long time ago. It was about an ancient spell that can transfer a life force from one body into another through the use of a medium. I don't know all of the details, but if we can find the medium and destroy it, perhaps we can stop the transfer from happening entirely? That's all I can tell you. If you want to know more, I suggest paying the Chief of Tear a visit. Mevin tells me that he's very knowledgeable and wise with experience on such matters. I'm confident that this chief will be able to point you in the right direction. All right, Duncan. I saw the state of play was officially announced for Wednesday. Wait, what? Wait, oh, it's just a rumor, but it got announced today? Oh yeah, it did. Wow, it is really soon. Okay, Wednesday at 2 p.m. Oh man, 2 p.m. PT. It's gonna be 40 minutes, uh, uh, um, should we watch it? <laughs> I usually end my stream at 4, this would make it where I end at 4, 4, 4.40. It could be fun to watch. Do you think it'll be worth it? Am I looking forward to any of these games? Um... Do they say the list? Hold on. 15 plus games. Oh, do they not have the list of the games? Stellar Blade, I don't remember that one. Rise of the Ronin, don't remember that one. Uh, I don't know, it could be fun to watch, I guess. So <laughs> we could just upload it to YouTube. <laughs> Rebirth should be exciting if indeed it's included. Haven't we already seen a lot of Rebirth content already? Maybe? A living being possessed by the soul of another, and the priest from Dumbarton told you to ask me about it? Sounds as though Father Mev Maven isn't immune to rumor mongering. Haha. <laughs> in, in truth, cases we've discussed before, like the awakening of Maka, are not examples of a soul taking over another living body. A chosen being's soul is already inextricably entwined with that of a god and over time will grow more and more attuned to that deity. Of course, that process doesn't just happen on its own. It requires a catalyst known as ancient wisdom. Think of it as a stairway that allows one to ascend to the divine, conceived by the ancients with their intricate magics. And of course, if there's something being used to awaken that latent divinity within a chosen girl, it could only be this ancient wisdom. You may have already realized this, but now awaken to the person she is now through the same method. Oh. So the now would know. Oh, yeah, Death Stranding 2. Um, yeah, I saw the rumored list, but I guess... I don't know. I know, I kind of... I know, right, FN? I'm kind of like, I like to see it for YouTube's sake, but I don't, I don't want to see it for my sake. <laughs> Cause then it's just gonna spoil more, right? I don't know. Uh, start later on Wednesday? Mm -hmm. One rumor I heard is a demo for Rebirth will be revealed with the event. Ooh. Interesting. 
Hmm. Huh, interesting. If there was a demo that comes out, would I, should I play the demo? Or should I wait? <laughs> Uh, I have to go talk to James at the uh, main cathedral. Okay. Now, now awaken to the person now is now. <laughs> it means it drums up people's interest in watching you play the main game. Uh, what, by playing the demo? I wonder if demo will be just like Final Fantasy 16 demo. Did I play the 16 demo? I don't think I did. Cause I kind of felt it was like awkward to like play a game before it's released, especially since it's a story game, right? I mean, I know that it'll probably, usually demos carry over to the main game, right? But. I always felt, at, it's just awkward being a streamer uh, of the demo coming out. That's pretty much it. The Final Fantasy 16 demo barely revealed the story. If you skip the demo and wait until launch, you could be missing pool people you could be missing pool people in watching you play the full game huh it didn't spoil too much 16 carried over was basically the first two hours of the game it did hit hype up the game up a ton yeah I'm not sure I'll have to think about it I kind of, personally, I don't think I want to play the demo. I think I'd rather just wait until Thursday when it, like, want, like comes out and then just play everything in, like, that one day. If you play the demo, people may watch and want to watch your stream for a full game. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Let's talk to James. What did you learn? Ancient wisdom? Mortals transforming into gods? That's the scale of what's required for Maka's resurrection? Oh my. Goodness, so that's what Ezra's was after. The pieces are finally coming together. The reasons why, Ez why Ezra's unearthed to Barthes was to obtain the ancient wisdom. So then, she could rule over the world as a goddess herself? Wait, as a goddess herself? Who's she turning into? Super Way, hey! They were 160 months. Good morning. How are you doing? Ah. Um. So Ezra's unearthed to Bardis. Okay. Oh, I see. She wants to do it herself. So Bardis is a guardian of ancient wisdom. If Ezra gains control of it, then the wisdom would become hers. All right. And since the Bardis is nowhere to be found, it may already have fallen into the hands of the formers. This is serious. The true name of the ancient wisdom is Leah Fail. If Leah Fail has fallen into the former's hands, we must either take it back or destroy it ourselves. Is it like an object? What is this ancient wisdom? Is it an object? A person? A human? A monster? What the heck? Otherwise, Mako will return and Aaron will be a living hell. You must find out where Leah Fa Fail, I'm gonna say it's Fail, is located. We must find out and make sure it never gets used. I hear that on Seal Island, there's a former who actually speaks human language. Ask them how to find it. Please prevent the resurrection of Maka. Now, I'd better report this to my superiors. Good luck. All right, to Seal Island? Nope, I have to go to Adelon. <laughs> Freaking see how they confuse me? They're like, head to Seal Island. No, the quest literally tells me to go to freaking Adelon. This guy. You're sad it's Monday? I'm sorry.
I need to watch your Yuffie DLC playthrough before rebirth as I never played that. Ah. I can't even remember what happened in the DLC. <laughs> an unknown former scroll? What would prompt an inquiry about such a thing? I can tell you that they do exist. Former scrolls are many and varied, and those that are so esoteric or cryptic that we cannot make out their origin or purpose um, are why we call the are what we call the unknowns. Uh, the thing is, most of the scrolls classified as a, as unknowns are of sufficient power that I take them into my custody as soon as they are as they are found. I don't want any of them failing into the hands of someone who would use them for ill. So you're going to have to explain what need you have for such a dangerous object. To make sure I understand, this Leah Fail is capable of resurrecting Maka, the goddess of destruction, and you need an unknown former scroll in order to find out where it is. Is that correct? How do I know that? What? How do I know I need that? Eridus? How do I know I needed that? Is it because... Am I supposed to just believe all this nonsense? Is it because I was supposed to go to Seal Island and get that information, but they kind of like just skipped it over, skipped over that and just sent me to this guy instead? If that's how things stand, it seems I have little choice but to entrust the scroll to you. But even so, I want you to promise me one thing. You've already shouldered a lot of risk and gone through no small amount of trouble to restore the shattered goddess statues. From this point, point onward, when someone asks you to take on some task or favor, I want you to think hard about whether or not to accept. As the captain of the guard, I worry about those who seem to willing to give till it hurts. Ah, the former scroll. Uh, I still think you go to CO Island. You underestimate Kylie the elf. She's a damn genius. I guess so. <laughs> I knew before I needed to know. Umbra Mera said they cut content to early gens by like 70%. Ah, so... Is this why there's a lot of gaps and I'm like confused as heck while doing some of these generations? Is I mean, I understand it, but they don't do a really good job just like uh, piecing it together, right? Like, I don't know. There's gaps. That was a gap. Like what? That's a gap. Not gonna lie. It's a little frustrating because I'm kind of like, oh, you just have to accept it. So then when new information comes while I'm doing these generations, I'm like, oh, I guess I already knew that. No, it's you you just got it just now. Okay. Alright. It isn't told very well even before. You would think that they would have like fixed that. <laughs> I guess cutting it didn't fix it. They just kinda cut cut out some quests to make it shorter which is fine but it, it leaves it leaves the viewer like me so lost oh look now i go to co island so like my question is like why was it really worth cutting out that one quest to know i needed to get the scroll from aduan maybe there was a lot more but i don't know i'm making it a big deal it's not a big deal but i'm a little frustrated i guess i have been blessed by Final Fantasy XIV and their storytelling. So by doing this Mabinogi Generations, I'm a little like... <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> it's okay though, it's okay. I'll get over it, it's okay. We'll keep going. It's 20 hours? Jesus. Some information is locked within game books that you aren't told about. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> what? Okay. Hmm. Hold on one second. Hmm. All 
right. Well, I mean, we're good. I'm gonna assume he told me what to do. Uh, you actually brought it. I, Muro, had my doubts you would. Kick, kick, kick. All right, here. As it was promised, a pass to Leah fail. Oh, okay. So I needed to get this to get the pass. Oh, it's a dungeon pass. Okay. Ah, it's torn. I guess you can't enter with this pass after all. It will need some sort of spell to fix. Some humans can do it. Humans called druids or something like that. Wearers of long ropes. Ask one of these druids. I, Muro, do not know magic that can fix it. The druids would know. Fix the pass. Enter the dungeon. Mork will see you differently after that. Who's Mork? Uh, dungeon passes? Uh, you'll have as many as you want. First meet with the druid. Have them fix this thing. Okay. Alright, Tarlock, I guess? Yeah, Tarlock. Time to go riot at the Nexon HQ. I mean, I think they... I mean, I think they did a good job shortening it because... That is a little bit... That's a little bit long. I don't know. I take I take that kind of back because Final Fantasy XIV was really long. <laughs> so I think I'm okay with long stories as long as they make sense. Oh, Mork is the goblin in the other world? Oh, okay. If Gen 1 through 21 was the MSQ, then no one would want to do it just like 14. What do you mean, just like 14? I was doing a class job quest that asked for holy water and I had to look up how to get it because they never explained it. Yeah, there's a lot of things that they don't like handhold you in the game. You kind of have to do your own research. Um, but yeah, you do like a part-time job for like the church and I think they give you holy water. Ah, I see. The tragedy, lug, the hero. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yes, you just have to read the books. That explains something. Got it. Sorry if I'm, I seem a little frustrated. I promise I'm not that frustrated about it, but I don't like being confused, especially if I'm spending this amount of time trying to understand the story and they, they kind of like skip things it com it confuses me more and it's just just a little frustrating that's all it's a little kylie this is what the leah fail is the key that can revive maka and this is the pass that will lead you to where the leah fail is i don't think you can use the pass in its current state for this pass to work as it should we need to restore the damaged parts we need some restoration magic but it's not something we can do right now. It's going to take some time. Leave it to me. Anyway, if it leads you to where the Leah Fail is, I'm sure there will be powerful formers guarding the area. It might be more dangerous than you think. By any chance, have you heard about the anti-former robe? Uh, the anti-former robe is a robe used to fight against the formers. It blocks evil four powers on Imbolic. Which in turn makes whatever, whoever, where... <sighs> it blocks evil former powers on Imbolic, which in turn makes whoever wears the robe become unrecognizable to them. If you use it, you might be able to search the area more safely. Why don't you try making one? What? Making one? However, if you get too close to them or make a loud noise, the formers will be able to sense you. Be careful not to rely too much on the robe's power. Oh god, I have to- cool, I have to make a rope? The war- the royal guard captain of Amain is said to know a lot about the cloak. I believe if you take this anti-former cloth to him, he should be able to make- to get you one- or to get you the rope easily. While you prepare the cloak, I will prepare- I will repair the pass so that it will work. I will write down the materials on a quest scroll. What? Quest scroll? Bari dungeon? Deliver the former cloth to Adon. Okay. All right, let's go. Thanks, Lurka.
They will also revisit the all the old writing because the pacing needs adjustment. Yeah, maybe. This game is really big and it's been out for a while, a while, so there's a lot of content. A lot of content. So that would be awesome if they did that though. But I give them props for shortening it. I appreciate it, even though I may be confused. I still appreciate it being a little bit shorter because it seems like a lot of this stuff is uh, I don't know unnecessary maybe like a lot of going back and forth when I don't know maybe maybe it didn't have to be that way I don't know you do know this is a real story based on Welsh mythology, notably the book called The Mabinogion. I didn't know it was like based on that story. I thought it was like, um, what is it? Like, a, like, I don't know, based on it, but not like, I guess you said based on it. Never mind. I thought it was just uh, like they used the same idea, but they created their own story. Reading everything would probably be 40 hours. I mean, before this game, I've never even heard about any Welsh mythology. So I 100% didn't know that there was a book called The Mabinogion. And I definitely didn't know that it would take, I guess, 40 hours to read it. I didn't know any of that. <laughs> Inspired, yeah, it's inspired on it, but it isn't direct. Yeah, I've never even heard of that book though. Uh, an anti former robe? Well, seeing as you brought everything needed to make one, it shouldn't be difficult to do so. But what are you playing at here? Militian? You want to do what? Oh, I think the advice I gave you must have gone in one ear and out the other. It's not as though I'm unfamiliar with the feats you've pulled off, but as I said before, I worry about that recklessness. I'm charged with the safety and security of this city, and while I know you're an adventurer, I can't let you just sally forth on a mission like that without proper preparation. That's why I want you to explain to me exactly how you intend to carry out this mission in a way that sees you return in one piece. Then, if I deem your course of action plausible enough, and only if I do, you'll we'll see about getting you that anti-former rope. Okay. Tatara lock. Um, Shakespeare doesn't appear in the map. I that would be weird if it did. <laughs> <laughs> the characters and roles are pretty much identical. Locations and interactions vary. Love, Apathy, have you read that book? You're back and earlier than I expected. I'm not quite finished restoring the past yet. Did you get the robe? Hmm, so the captain of the guard himself said that, did he? I know he's not a man who would try to dissuade adventurers from their pursuit, so it's rather surprising to hear. Still, it's not something I have any say in, one way or the other. The reason I'm asking you to undertake such a dangerous mission is that I've come to believe you are a being more different from us than one would think. A being blessed by the goddess and by now. Well, let's try this. I'm going to give you a book. Has he seen now yet? I guess he hasn't. Oh, a book. This is a book I've been writing about Aaron's new breed of adventures, that is, the others out there like you. I began writing it in hopes of seeing which, uh, with greater clarity, the differences between the militians, yourself included, and our people, the Tuasa de Danan. I think once Adoan reads this book, he may be able to get over his reluctance about you voyaging to such a dangerous place. Frankly, frankly, I think you yourself may benefit from reading it as well. For now, please focus on getting the anti-former robe prepared. In the meantime, I'll continue my work to restore the past. Hurry up, Tarlock! We don't got all day! I knew, uh, I knew about a bunch of other mythologies, but not Welsh. 
Imagine walking back and forth because moon gates were limited back in the day. Uh, oh, they were limited back in the day? Wait, I think y'all told me, but I, I guess I forgot. We had to wait for specific times when moon gate opened. <laughs> wait, like in game time or in real life time? Maybe we'll see now later. He'll see now later. Yeah, maybe. They're moon. Oh, they're moon gates for a reason. Because it's only at, at night time. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> You're back. Uh, is this a response to what I said? The solution for your safe return? Records about militias. Oh, wait. I didn't read the book. Hopefully it's okay. It's an interesting read. I've always known that you were unlike anyone else, but I never expected you to bring me such an absurd book as proof. So since you're from another world, you won't die? How am I supposed to take that? In the end, you're entirely different from me. Is that it? Well, I understand. I guess I can't stop you from going. I'm from a different world? What world am I from? Well, I understand. I guess I can't stop you from going. Here's the anti-former robe. Just let me save the world, man! Ooh, I got a robe. Can I put it on? Oh. Hold on, what does it look like? Oh. All right. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It wouldn't it wouldn't show up like that, but it's okay. Oops. Um all right, talk to Tarlock. Maybe he has finally finished restoring the past. The fun is the journey and the wait. We're just built different. Hey, hey. I think back in the day, if, if, I would have been fine with it because I feel like I was way more patient when I was younger than I am today. <laughs> Earth, Venus, <laughs> Jupiter. <laughs> oh my God. If you didn't want to wait, you had to walk and there was no mounds? All right, what am I doing? Am I talking to Tarlock? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, back to, back to the old grind. What's a starlight robe? All right, Tirnanong Dungeon Pass. Did everything work out okay? You got the anti-former robe. Uh, I also have a pass ready for you. All you have to do is complete the quest. Let me warn you one more time, the anti-former robe does not make you stronger. It simply keeps you from standing out. Remember that. So I'm like invisible? Sort of? Oh! All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess that's all I needed to know. Uh, offer an infiltration pass to Bowel Dungeon in the other world and clear the dungeon. Okay. Uh. Wait, where do I go? Bowel time. They check my sprinklers every year when I lived in condo for a few years. I mean, those things, like, I guess can freeze easily and, and make a lot of damage. So it makes sense that they checked up on it. Happy that they did. Uh, I need to go to the other world. You need a pass to the other world. The one to get to Alt Bangor. Oh, through Bari Dungeon. Is this the pass? I guess I have to do Bari Dungeon. Okay, okay. Thanks, guys. All right, to Bari Dungeon. Also, my poor plant is struggling. I can't stop thinking about it. My poor plant. I moved it outside because I was worried that 
it wasn't getting enough sunlight. So I moved outside for a couple hours. But now like the really big like leaf that it has like bent. <laughs> so I'm like, now what do I do? It's not broken, but it bent. So like the stem isn't strong enough. <sighs> I'm the worst plant owner, man. I think I'm gonna give the plant to my mom. She makes everything go back to life. <laughs> Why are plants so picky? Okay, let me drop all this stuff that expired. Oops, my bad. Okay, all right, to uh, Bari. I hear plants list a bedtime story. <laughs> oh, I, oh, they sent me an email telling me that they would go in my apartment today. Oh, but I just now saw the email. <laughs> They are looking for sprinkler line leaks. Oh, well. I'm glad I saw that now. <laughs> they sent it yesterday? Uh, they sent that a couple hours ago. <laughs> but I only, I don't check my email like constantly, so. I mean, it's fine, it doesn't matter, it's all good. Okay, let's go to Bari. So this will take me to Tirnanog. I'm assuming this will. I already had a pass for it, so. In Wisconsin, they have to give you a 12 hour notice. Oh, well, I mean, I, I personally didn't care, it's okay. I mean, I would have cared if I was like taking a shower, right? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'm a little irked by it, not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna make it a big deal because they were really friendly and uh, I recognize that lady. So, if it was all men, I think it would have been different. <laughs> but since it was a lady that I recognized and that I liked, I was okay with it. <clears throat> that was the same lady when when my fire alarms were going off because the batteries were dead, she taught me how to, one, know when the battery's gonna die, um, and the fact that it's the battery and how to change it out. It's probably really simple, but I thought it was kind of nice that she went out of her way to teach me, just because I thought it was nice. Um, oh my God, I'm an idiot. I signed a form and I put 2023 instead of 2024. <laughs> Oops, I'm still in 2023. Um, okay, I'm in Tirnanog, right? I think I am. All right, where do I have to go? Offer infiltration pass to Bowel Dungeon. Where's the Bowel Dungeon? Oh, this is the Bowel Dungeon. Okay, so there's the Bangor and there's Bowel Dungeon. So Tirnanog's Bangor Dungeon, or uh, Bangor has Bari Dungeon. And then Tirnanog Bangor has Bow Dungeon. It looks creepy. Okay. Uh let's go. Do I wait, do I drop it here? Pass? A pass that leads to Lee. I think this is it. Okay. I have the I have the the robe on, so we're good. Oh look! Triona? Is she like in a daze or something? Did you know? I did. I've heard it. I heard it'll be painful. Aren't you scared? A little, but then call it off. You don't have to go through with something like this. All right, this is my fate. I was chosen for it even before I was born. Triona. I know that it will be painful. I'll be handing over myself to an entirely different being. I'll probably change a lot from how I am now, too. But even when I'm in pain, I don't want to let hate get the better of me. Lashing out at others in anger won't make the pain go away. This poor girl, that's, that's sad. Love, suffering, pain, they're so different. But in a weird way, they're similar. Because when I feel those things, I realize what it is to be alive. 
If I were someplace all alone with no one else around, I wouldn't feel any pain. But I wouldn't feel any happiness either. I just feel nothing. Could I really call that living? If I can't run from my destiny, I'll embrace it as best I can. No! That's not- that's just not right! No one should have to resign themselves to enduring that! Why? Truna, you asked me about my father before, right? My father was the Lord. He received his rank and peerage for his feats of valor in the Battle of Magtrida. And the Battle of Magtrida was brought by his own doing because he stole her. Right? Or is that a different war? Hi, Jaden. Good morning. But after some time, he began acting as though I didn't even exist. I tried whatever I could think of to make him happy, but my... But my reward was just his hollow laugh. He didn't say, he didn't even say anything. All I heard was that I was destined for something and I didn't even hear that from my father. Who cares about some destiny? I never cared to inherit my father's lands or wealth or his title. I just wanted him to love me like a father should his own son. Aw. Sorry. That was when I decided if this destiny is what my father fears, then I'll show him how I face it and overcome it. That's been my guiding principle up through the present. I'm the master of my own destiny, and I make my own choices about how I'll live. I wasn't able to be at his side during his final hours, but I have no regrets. The whole idea that there's some irreparable destiny that marches us about, it's a bunch of lies. You have trials, you meet them head on, and you overcome them. Even though I lost my rank, my company, even my brother, I still have... Ugh, what am I saying? Don't worry, right? I'll be okay. Triona. Well then. Oh, she's leaving now. Slow walking. <laughs> the facial expression looks so dead. <laughs> Oh wait, I want to stand by your side. Oh, I didn't see the first one. Aww. Even when I'm no longer myself. Aww. Oh, shoot. All right. What? Um. <laughs> uh, Rari should take notes from her. I remember why Morgan wants to revive Maka to gain her favor. I don't know. I don't think they explained it yet why he's doing what he's doing. He just told Rari to trust me. Oh, I have to clear the dungeon now. Oh, okay. Time to go. Oh, hold, hold on one second. Um, Rai has grown so much. He has. I've had nightmares about this dungeon. What? Wait, really? Ugh. Well, let me, let me make your nightmares no longer exist by breezing through it. <laughs> Was it like really hard back in the day or something? I'm assuming that's the case. This dungeon took so much preparation. Oh, did it? It's so interesting to hear, hear y'all's trauma stories <laughs> about this game. Back in my day, we had to walk up the hill. Okay. It's all right. A single dog, what is this? <laughs> it used to be a gatekeeper. Well, it is a gatekeeper no longer. Drama, drama stories for real, Moon. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a spider here. Oh my god, I had... 
Oh my god, that reminds me. I had a dream about a spider. <laughs> and it was so me. It was bad. Oh my god, y'all are gonna laugh. Basically, there was this little brown spider in my dream. And it would constantly, like, chase me. But it was like... I don't know, a pet spider? Like, it knew what it was doing. It knew that I didn't like spiders, but it still wanted to, like, taunt me. And I remember crying, and la Tom was just laughing. Because <laughs> I was being chased by the spider. <laughs> I told him this morning. I was like, why did you let the ch spider chase me? I was like half awake, half asleep. Anyways. Oh my god, did I just kick that? What? Why did I kick that person that was laying down? Was that Triona? It seems we have a little rat scurrying about. What the? <laughs> what? Ah, oh, so your target was the Leah. Oh wait, that was the Leah fail then. You must have hoped to prevent the summoning of Crom Crotch. Crom Crotch. I'm. Why weren't you summoning a main? Or a maka? Wait, so I... What? <laughs> Who did I... I was kicking... Anyways. Alas, your attempt was for naught. What you just destroyed, dear paladin, was merely the seal that serves to protect the petrified dragon. Not the Leofail. What? The petrified dragon? Oh, no! Seize the militia and I'll interrogate them myself. Ah! <laughs> Kick them! <laughs> oh! Whoa, what is she doing here? You, the betrayer of the formers. It's been a while, Morgan. I'm afraid I can't let you have our friend here. Aaron has need of them. Oh my god, what is all the- What? Pr first price and now Christelle? That's twice now! I'd best keep a closer watch. <laughs> I'd get away for it if it wasn't for your meddling kids. Alright. Did you hear something about Crom Crotch? If you want to talk about that, I hear there's an expert on the matter at the Garrick Dragon Ruins. I think you're better off asking him. Oh, by the way, you really should speak with the captain of the Royal Guard in Maine. His name is Adwin. Really, Christelle? Really? That's his name? I have totally forgot. He's been looking for you. In fact, he's been asking that I make sure to send you his way. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Complete. Why do I have to complete this? Oh my god! We're getting... We're almost done! Ish. Maybe. Alright, let's see. What do I have to do? Ask Samus at the Dragon Ruins. Alright, let's go to the Dragon Ruins first. <laughs> getting blamed for things you did in someone else's dream. It's like he leaves like super early in the morning. So he always wakes me up to say bye. And then <laughs> what I did, I was like, why did you let the spider chase me? <laughs> and he's like, bye Kylie. <laughs> I wonder if he was confused. <laughs> oh my God, Morgan sucks at this. <laughs> they do. Hi Alpha. All right, this guy. The guy that's always out of breath. Crom Crutch, you want to hear the story of the dragon statue? Let's see, where should I start? Let me catch my breath first. <laughs> this dragon here is made of stone. It was built back when people used to serve the dragons. Ooh. This dragon known, known as Crom Crutch would appear and destroy everything in its path. Uh, the people built a statue of the dragon and offered sacrifices to try to appease the dragon's wrath. According to records, there were two ways to summon a dragon. One was to awaken a slumbering dragon through the statue, or a person could make a contract with the dragon and offer up a promised sacrifice. Oh. We investigated the ruins here, but summoning a dragon through the statue seems truly impossible. And nobody knows how to create a contract with a dragon, nor what the sacrifice is supposed to be. You're not trying to summon a dragon, are you? Wait, let me catch my breath. Oh, okay, that's it. I thought he was about to tell me something else. Um, talk to Adwin in front of a main Maka castle. All right. 
the guy Christelle just told me about. Got it. Interesting. So are they not trying to summon Maka? They're trying to summon Crom Crotch instead? Were they using Fi F Fiona? <laughs> Triona as a sacrifice? Maybe that maybe they're trying to do both. They're trying to get Maka back and Crom Crotch. <laughs> they're trying to summon the cookie monster. <laughs> oh, you've returned! Praise the goddess! I admit, perhaps I was a bit harsh on you when we last spoke. I was judging you based on my own standards, or perhaps my own limitations. It was foolish of me. But that's what has that's that's what said but that's but what said has been said. Oh my god, I can't read that. I only hope you weren't too offended by my fretting. As before, I if you have need of anything from me, I'll do what I can to help. This is for you. It's my actually just consider it a token of appreciation for your safe return. I hope for the best for you now in the days to come. What? What did he give me? More junk? It's his sword piece. Apparently this item will help understand Adowin a bit better. Head over to a place where Adowin may have some history in for some clues. What? Talked about it in front of the castle. Oh. Okay. Eh? Uh, thanks Alpha! Thanks for the three stream streak. This guy should read your title. What, the Black Rose Master? Perfect timing. I was hoping you'd stop by. I have something for you. In Eren, we have things called protection charms. They are they were originally created by the druids who imbued accessories such as rings and necklaces with special powers that would protect the wearer. It's mostly regarded as a myth these days, but with the right materials and some magic, you can still make one. Here, take this ring. Is he proposing? This item can be used as a basis for a protection charm. Speak with Stuart at the Dumbarton Magic School. He's supposed to know how to make them. I'm sure he'll gladly make you a protection charm. I know it'll be helpful to you, even if just a little bit. Well, that's nice. I like this guy. I'd marry him. Maybe. Alright, I need to go to the Dumbarton School and talk to Stuart. I, I'm very lucky. I'm lucky to be doing this now. I'll bet I have been a little confused uh, by the story, but I'm really happy I don't have to wait for the moon gates to go to places. So I'll take I'll take confusion over uh, easy teleporting any day. <laughs> I'm always confused in my life. Oh no! So it's nothing new. <laughs> yeah, the lack of convenience. Yeah, I'll take the convenience over the lack of. I'll take it any day. Imagine waiting hours to get to CU Island Moongate. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't want to imagine. <laughs> hmm, how can I help you? You'd like to have to have a protection charm made? Let's take a look. Yes, this ring should do nicely. Would it be too rude of me to ask where this ring came from? Unfortunately, this is not enough on its own. I need something called the Teardrop of the Spirit. Though this accessory may be the most important item you need to create the charm. To properly preserve the magic laden within this charm, the Teardrop of the Spirit is necessary. It's easy enough to get if you have a spirit weapon. Ooh. All you need to do is ask it about the Teardrop of the Spirit. Hmm. Just one moment. Ah, I happen to have some left over. Excellent. This should be enough to make the protection charm. Oh. Well, look at there. Has anyone ever given you a detailed explanation about protection charms? You don't seem to be very familiar with them. You should probably know what they're about. A soldier was hit by an arrow on the battlefield and it pierced through a token given to him by his lover <gasps> instead of his heart saving his life. Ooh, we've all heard of stories like that, right? What? Oh, was he giving me a ring because he loved me? That is the power of the lover's overwhelmingly desire to protect her loved one. It's similar to the spirit summon effect, but the 
spiritual power is manifested in a slightly different way. Okay. This protection charm is the embodiment of that spiritual power amplified through the use of magic. It is a powerful charm that links its original owner with the charm's recipient. So, so powerful in fact that if the recipient is in grave danger, some of it may even be assumed by the original owner in their place. The accessory that, well really? The accessory that serves as the base must be from someone who fiercely desires to protect the receiver. Why? Because in extreme cases, the, give, the giver may even lose their life instead? I don't know who gave you this ring, but its owner must think very highly of you. Honestly, I can't help but feel a little envious, you know? <laughs> the charm will take some time to be completed, so I'll have it delivered by Owl once it's done. In the meantime, how about saying thank you to that special someone who gave you the ring? I bet you just came here without saying anything to them. Am I right? Well, dang, Adeline. I didn't know that's how you felt. That's nice. He really wants to be protective. It's like, it's like where people have like a thing in their pocket that like can, I don't know, dodge or absorb bullets shock or whatever and they're like oh i survived it's like in all the movies thanks timmy technically it's 10 years and one day now what plot armor yeah that sort of <laughs> you have to make your spirit cry in the past that's kind of mean what did you so i had to make it cry and that's what per would generate the tear how do you make your spirit cry? That's kind of mean. It's mean. Um. Uh, you have to make your spirit shed a tear 25 times? So you might want to do that later. I don't think I have to. I think they... I think the steward said he, he just had a collection already. <laughs> wow. Why did he make his spirit cry so often? <laughs> Prevent Maka's revival. Greetings! How did the charm turn out? Is it all finished? I hope it serves you well. Really? You said Stuart had something interesting to say about the charms? God, he didn't need to overcomplicate things like that. Well, you see, it, it's nothing quite like that, I assure you. Or, that is to say, it's not so much about my personal feelings specifically. Aww. It's just that this is one of the few things I can really do that may serve to keep you safe from harm. Wow! Anyway, that ring actually is a rather important trinket of mine. It once belonged to, my, to a family member. So I'd like you to return it to me once this is all over. And that means walking up and placing it in my hand yourself. Don't let that rough, up, rough you up too much. You hear? I'll be, waiting your safe, I'll be awaiting your safe return. He cares about me. He really cares. Where are we now? Oh, <gasps> is this the last one? The decisive battle? Oh, we're here. Or almost here, I guess. All right, I need to go to talk to Tarlock. Oh, that's nice. You bring an onion into the past and you cut it. <laughs> It's for G24. It's part of a side quest. Oh, oh. Wait, what's happening? Chichol is trying to seal me once more. He hopes to connect the two worlds. Oh no! I am 
I'm using all my strength to block passage between Aaron and the other world, but not enough strength remains to break the seal. I, if I am sealed and Maka is revived... What about Krom Crotch? She is a goddess with greater power than I. I fear Aaron will be consumed in the flames of her wrath. Ooh, the moment has come. Ah! It is only a matter of time before she awakens. Please. Before she is revived, before she calls forth the evil god of destruction. Help me prevent Maka's awakening. <laughs> so much grace. <laughs> the shaking. And in doing so, save the world! Oh, I need a cape after this. Or maybe during this, because I'm saving the world after all. <laughs> yeah, the shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm in the floor. Oh, we're good. Alright. Oh, I guess that cutscene had to happen before I talked to Tarlock. Alright. Ah! The god has told you that? You mean Morgan is about to be sealed again? Failed to destroy the Lea Fail? I failed to destroy the Lea Fail. Maybe that's why it's called Lea Fail. Maka is the demon of destruction, the dragon of death. They are planning to summon Krom Crotch. Rari has become the leader of Dork of Fidane. Fidane. So wait, Maka is the demon of destruction. I thought Maka was the god. The goddess of... I don't know. The god of something. I forgot. <laughs> or is Maka Krom Crotch? I'm so confused. Hold on. She is the goddess. She's the goddess of destruction. Oh, or a demon, I guess. Another word? Anyways. And then Krom Crotch is something else. Krom is a different god. Oh, wow. They're, they got multiple things going on here. Dang. Okay. Alright, anyways. Hmm, we're in great danger. <laughs> yeah. Things have been getting worse uh, than we initially thought. Plus, if the seal covers my powers... Aaron will no longer receive protection from Morrigan. Whether the goddess statue is destroyed or not, the formers will push through and invade us. Take this to where the petrified dragon is, then destroy it. I know this is a dangerous request, and I know as well <clears throat> it's almost impossible, but if we don't destroy the petrified dragon before it awakes, not only will Maka be reborn, but we will face unfathomable consequences. Wait, the dragon? If the dragon... But I... What? Okay, so the dragon has to be reborn in order for Maka to come back? Er. Anyways, if you have friends whom you went with to rescue the goddess before, could you ask them to help you with this again? You with your friends that defeated Glass Glubahybin, will you be able to do this? I have faith. I will do my best to find a way to help you as well. Thank you. Anybody want to go uh, come with me to... Uh, this wait i have to go back to bow dungeon okay um does he give me a okay 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 i need to go back to bari dungeon right It is implied that the dragon statue in Gary is an actual dragon. I don't know. So the plan is for Maka to summon Krom. Oh, to destroy the world. That's why they want to summon Maka. Oh, I thought they wanted to summon Maka because Maka was already going to be like enough for them to take over the world. But no, it's to summon the dragon. Gotcha. Um, can I use an ice fishing rod for regular fishing too? I want to get rid of the other one. Yeah, you can. 
Um, I think I'll be fine on my own. I don't have to bring people, do I? I think I'm just gonna go in. Fall dungeon pass. Okay, so I need to go to Bari. Hi, Fed, by the way. Uh, I need to go to Tirnanog. Alright, here I go. I think I'm plenty powerful. <laughs> I think so too. But I did I always get confused if it's gonna be a role-playing dungeon or not. I haven't I haven't done another role-playing dungeon in a while. It might be your first challenge. What, this will? Oh God. Is it because I'm an archer? Cause sometimes I can't kill things unless I use like melee attack. I know, right? It's coming up so fast. Are you excited, John? Uh, Zhang? Zhang? Jiang? Val was like Giga Endgame at the time in 2008. Yeah, apparently it gave people nightmares. I am here. Alright, time to do the decisive battle, which I think is the last quest of Generation 3, so we're about to be done. Boy, here we go. Time to, uh, wait. Offer, oh, the dungeon pass, okay. What the heck is, I still have that, I guess? Okay. Wow, my me tab is getting kind of cluttered. <laughs> what am I, what do I, I wonder what, uh, oh, I can get rid of that, I think. I need to figure out what I can get rid of. Okay. All right, let's go. Here we go. I've memorized this look. I don't even mean to click that statue. I always do it. It's just like a thing I click trying to move forward. Oh God. Mimic, follow my scroll. Ah! You want a demo? It's been rumored that there's gonna be a demo uh, release ah, after. Ooh, there's a wing of the goddess. Do I need to pick that up? Ooh, I wanna pick this up. Um, there's been a rumor that a demo is gonna um, be available after the state of play that's gonna be on Wednesday. It's just a rumor though. Sounds like a pretty good rumor though. I believe it. I thought there wasn't a statue back then. What do you mean there wasn't a statue? Okay, all right, let's go. Ooh, is that light the protection charm? I knew that sooner or later you would come. So you've made this, you've made it this far. Do you really think you can stop us? One, three, the number doesn't matter. If someone can't stand up for what's right, even if it means standing alone, I've got only one thing to say to them. You're on the wrong side, Rari. I'ma poison you, whoa! And take this! Oh no. Hold that thought. <laughs> no! No! Why am I not doing any damage? Is it supposed to be a thing? Oh. Okay, it's supposed to happen. <laughs>
<gasps> oh! Whoa, he got struck down. Sorry, I'm late. I had some things I need to take care of. If you still need help, I'm ready and willing. Who is that? Oh, <gasps> it's Tarlock and now? How are they here? What? Oh, he knows that it's Mari too. What? What's going on? Tarlock? Ma Mari? Mari? Rari. Oh my god, the twist. Rari, why are you helping the formers? I'm not helping the formers. I'm, I'm simply following the path I believe in. If there is any sort of goodwill between humans and the formers, there has to be some way to communicate. I know. However, you shouldn't be here. Let's go back. It's too late for that now. <laughs> it's too late. Oh, shoot. Rari! <gasps> Triona! All right, what are you doing? They are the ones who killed your brother. Has nostalgia for days long gone clouded your mind? Have you forgotten your purpose as a dark knight? Kill them, kill them all. Can't you see, Rari? Chichol is just doing the same thing Ezra's did. He's going to use that child to summon the dragon. We have to stop him. Or do you want to see her sacrificed just like Rian was? What? what? Enough of this prattle. I shall rid the world of your meddlesome existences. <laughs> it's like Scooby-Doo. Thanks, guys. May all of merit grant me strength. I read that very fast. Uh-oh. Oh! Shielded. Rari! Uh, 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 uh. Ah, so much going down! Oh my god, what happened, Rari? Oh no! Oh no! Miserable whelp, how dare you destroy the Leophale? This shall not be forgiven. <gasps> he destroyed it, nice. Your master managed to survive this once, but in the condition you're in, do you really think you can? Begone, druid! Oh, shoot! Why? Are you okay? Wait, what happened? <laughs> Tarlock, you've been slacking on your training. Oh, you dare stand against me? I think you know the answer to that. Tarlock, Mari, I want you to get out of here. I'll finish off this butthole. Even from the get-go, I never gave much care for him. But you can't do it alone. Just hurry and go. Am I... As I am now, I can best him. I'll catch up with you guys. We'll go back together. So please, just go! Rari! Get him! Get him! Yeah, get him! Get him! Oh! She's here. So much is going down. <laughs> Tarlock, leave this place to me and make your escape. Just as you saved me from the seal. This time, I will lend you my power. Morgan. <laughs> now is just sitting there like, haha, <laughs> tee -hee. Oh! Oh no! You must go! I cannot let you all be sacrificed here! Rari! Oh no! Wow, that's a really cool graphic. He got uppercut. Oh, he got uppercut so much that his upper half of his armor is off. No! Rari! This is the price of a human. A human must pay for laying their filthy hands upon me! This I cannot forgive, Chichol. Why do you treat humans with such cruelty and contempt? I would likewise ask a question of you, Morgan. From whence springs you your constant devotion to mankind? Why would you show such love to those insignificant creatures? Why shield them from the divine punishment they deserve for standing against a god's will? Someone sounds jealous that they didn't get all the attention from her. <laughs> I'm kidding. Why are you so driven to make humans suffer? Is that the only way you know of to demonstrate the power of the gods? All living beings have the right to live and grow in the time given to them. If that is so, let me ask... Let me then ask you this, Morgan. 
why what are the formers to you are they not beings as alive as other as any other even the humans you lavish with such affection seldom share your devotion just look at how poorly they so often treat their own you see only what you wish to see chichol in truth human nature tends towards goodness they embrace change growing each day and striving towards a vision of the world as it should be that is in an accordance with the will of the highest gods. The enemy between humans and formers only exists because you deceive both with your lies to goad them into fighting. Is that not so? Lies? Are you implying my words are less than truthful? Ha 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 ha. Oh, that is rich, especially coming from you, Morgan. You know as well as I that remaining silent, even when one knows the truth, is tantamount to lying. <gasps> Why did you hide from the humans that the precious Tirnanog they long for is none other than Aaron itself? What? Excuse me? Well, what's going on now? The other world you humans speak of is not Tirnanog. In truth, Aaron is. Astonishing, isn't it? Humans long ago found paradise and eternal life, yet they're still fighting and killing each other like the savages they are. Admit it, Morgan. You may be doing it in the name of goodness and justice, but you're, you've been using militians for your own ends. I tire of your perpetual hypocrisy. N no, it isn't like that. Ha 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 ha. Did you think that... If you trapped the humans in Tirnanog, they'd come into true happiness, Morgan. Can you truly be that simple-minded? I'm a little confused. If we were in paradise. Oh, so Aaron is paradise and Tirnanog wasn't. Oh, I see. Humans are incapable of truly appreciating happiness until they have suffered. That's just how their twisted little minds work. But what I find most distasteful is the fact that such def uh, deficient beings were chosen to dwell in a paradise. My intent is simply to change this world into what it is, what it is supposed to be. Oh wow. The, being, the beginning of a new world is nigh. Destruction is but a smaller deal the world must bear for the promise of a brighter future. Now stay out of my way. I will not allow you to interrupt me again. I will not. It's over, Tichol. Your army of good darkness and the dark night have fallen. Maka's reincarnation failed and Krom Crotch can no longer be summoned. I will seal you now with the same power you used to seal me away. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. You seal me? There is no need, Morgan. After all, Maka is not the only one with the power to summon Krom Crotch. Just so, this petty human is the one who has a contract with Cromcrotch. What? He himself has bartered to the dragon as part of the contract. <gasps> All to slake his father's lust for power. Oh my god. Rari. One might say he's living proof of mankind's flawed nature. Now come, Cromcrotch, in my name I bid you fulfill the contract you are bound to honor. Come and heed the will of he who returns that... Or returns what is yours by right. <gasps> He's turning into a dragon. No, not Crumb Crotch. Heh, <laughs> tell me, Morgan. Do you remember that unique pain experienced in the moment your body turns to stone? Ha ha ha. So much for paradise for mankind alone. Crumb Crotch shall burn it down its very roots. Tear to Nog in the cursed land that plays host to the formers will be as one. All shall return to the way it was ever meant to be. All was set in motion by mankind's evil. Just try and stop it if you think you can. <gasps> oh no! The dragon! Oh god, it's a dragon. Whoa, it looks cool. Oh no. Well, that's not good. I have my sword. Oh, now just poofs. Oh, they poof. Everybody's leaving me! I'm sorry, as the dragon of destruction, Crom Crotch very existence is the threat to this land and to life. I entreat you, vanquish the great worm and bring peace to Aaron to the true Tirnanog. Oh god, okay. I gotta fight a dragon. Alright. Uh Pew Pew? Oh I did it! Woo! That 
was so hard. Whew. Oh my god, I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> oh no, I'm just kidding. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. I lied. I'm a big fat liar. What? Oh, I like the music. Oh, frail existence whose life is but a fleeting moment. For what purpose do you now call upon me? What? I see. Though sooner than I expected, the contract I shall heed. Not that it makes a great difference to me. Indeed, you are not the one who called upon me. Well, he looks, it looks cool. I like, I like how the dragon looks. You need not explain the circumstances. They are unlikely to be worthy of note. Though an age has passed, a long slumber, even for an everlasting being such as I, the foolishness of man and the ignorance of the formers has changed little from what I remember. Still, as a mortal, it must have taken great conviction in metal to best the stone figure shaped in my likeness. Perhaps there is more to you worth knowing. <laughs> yeah! That is I. Oh, uh, You are one who stands with this world, yet apart from it. You have become a symbol of hope, yet within your heart dwells still the confusion sow sowed by the goddess. Were you unaware of the fact that Aaron is Tirnanog? That Tirnanog cycles between Aaron and the land of the formers? I suppose I cannot blame you for your ignorance. After all, you too are heir to mankind's follies. It must have, cha it must have chafed to hear the former say that paradise is no longer paradise if the unworthy can venture there. Ha ha ha. Yes, your insight has clouded, was clouded by mankind's endless greed. Tis a coin with two sides, however. Greed drives man ever forward but renders him blind to the truth. Fix this in your memory, child of man, never to be forgotten. That which brings misery upon mankind is not the former's nor any other, whether familiar or stranger. It is the greed that would possess a man to subdue another, refusing to acknowledge them even as you bring them under your heel. Even if you yourself do not pay the price, that toll shall surely be, exact, be exacted, even from those you cherish most dearly. The ver that, very pre that very precept lies at the foundation of the world. All tragedies can be traced back to mankind's refusal to acknowledge this fundamental rule. It may prove difficult to grapple with now, but hold fast to this truth. One day you will understand it. The man with hair of scarlet is bound to me as though with an invisible cord offered up as part of the contract humans made. This man suffers in your world, which has not acknowledged its precepts. Uh, it is not pleasing to me that it is so. Therefore, I will take him earlier than I had planned. Oh, dang. Why do they always make the dragons sound like this? Love, cherish, and care for both those who are like you and those who are different. Oh. Is he really gonna take him? You whose days roll by one after another, and the world you now inhibit. Know that understanding will overcome differences, and in catalyzing that process shall your kinds coming to this world be given meaning. Well, that's kind of nice. I like that. That's nice. And so in your very hands will the shape of the world be changed. When next I am called upon, I expect to find a far different Tirnanog spread before me. Oh, he's gonna come back? Whoa! Oh! Oh! Okay! So, what? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. 
I did it! I beat Generation 3! So the world was saved. But Crumb Crotch was, uh, was, uh, summoned. And Rari is dead? Question mark? And, oh. And Tiernanog is Aaron. And where we are is Paradise. Did I get that right? Oh, shoot. It's not done yet. So that, so that was your name. Yes. <laughs> it did look kind of like Bahamut, didn't it? <clears throat> Hi! Uh, look at you getting the G's done. Gonna be able to knock out Crom in no time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll get right on that. I mean, I'm on just finished three, but I'm working on it. <laughs> By the way, hi! How are you doing today? For some reason, I can't see what the future holds for you. However, I can tell you this. What men call light and darkness are just two different names for one thing. As long as the God sees fit to intervene in the name of goodness and justice, we will surely meet again. Speaking of Crom Crotch... What is he doing? What is he doing with Triona? I like this music. Am I supposed to be paying attention to these little photos? Are they like also telling a story? Oh look, that's when he saw Mal. I never got his reaction to meeting her. Just that it happened. Like he didn't, he never, did he ever tell me that he met her? Did he ever get to talk to her? Hi, Dreams! Thank you so much for the raid! Hi! How was your stream? Da, na, 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 na. We just beat Generation 3. <laughs> Hi, guys! And the dragon apparently will come back. Maybe. Or something like that. Was a good bit of Mabby now back to, oh, to my Pal World addiction. Fair. <laughs> Pal World is so addicting. That and Enshrouded. Both of those games are so addicting. Yay, I beat Generation 3. Kylie, I think that dragon fight took me like 40 minutes when I did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, 40 minutes. Is it because you kept dying and you had to get people to like revive you? Wait, that dungeon you can bring people, couldn't you? It seemed like an intense fight. I should probably have extended it longer by like punching him or something. The boss one shots you with a fireball. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> That's a bit presumptuous calling their own creation a masterpiece. <laughs> I think, I don't know why they, it's called Masterpiece. That is funny. <laughs> it's a bit preemptuous. Had to hide behind campfires and shoot it little by little. How does a campfire, how do you hide behind a campfire? How do you hide behind a fire <laughs> when it's throwing fireballs at you? Huh? Campfires are obstacles. It's kind of like a wall. Oh, was that like a, like a, um, like a hack? Not a hack, but like a English, uh, like a trick to like get past the fight. So you line of sight it. Interesting. Aw, that's nice. However, 
Harloff is okay. Mari is now, and Rari is now a dragon. That's kind of sad. Exploit, that's it. Hi, Boiler. To exploit. They all died. They didn't die, they just poof. They're still alive. We'll see them again in generation four. Oh, wait. He isn't a dragon? Oh, he was taken by a dragon. Sorry, sorry. He was taken by a dragon. Why is there a rich per... Oh. Wait, did he... Did he just... I want that gold. Wait, what? Ha, oh, to have such excess of wealth. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this NPC? <laughs> did he drop money? Can I talk to him? Maybe some coins will fall out of his pocket? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't think I've ever noticed this guy before. Wait, this... Oh my god, money does drop from him! <laughs> it's only one gold, though. <laughs> what the heck? I found my new money maker. I'll just AFK near him and just collect all his gold. One gold coin at a time. It's funny. Um, back in the day, people used to camp this NPC. No way. It's only one gold though. That's not even like anything. Well, I got the obsidian enchant scroll. Is that good? Well, let me put this stone away. And then I have common leather. One second, Ben. One second. Uh, it's okay. We use much better enchants now. Oh, okay. A glass candlestick. What is this? Thank you. What is it? Ah. Nice. Okay, are we are we praying for for the lives of Rari and the others? Oh, complete! Oh wait, 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 wait! If I hit complete, does what is this? What happens? I did it though. I did generation three, so now it skips to generation seven. Here, let me click complete. The giant wings of the dragon. Oh, that's there. There's the dragon. Eclipse the sun high in the sky. And the prairies of Conus. Once called paradise has lost its venture. Ah! What's going on? Whoa. What? Now the dragon's attacking Conus? Into 2014, 1 million gold was equal to 100 million today. <laughs> How the economy has changed. Obsidian was good like 20 years ago. 1 gold isn't anything. Okay, Richie Rich. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, wow, he does drop a lot of gold. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he dropped so much. Freaking, I'm rich. Now who's the rich person? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, um... What is this? Is this the... Oh, I see, I see. The lost memory of the ancients. The path to Zardine opens, giving Kosai of Kor a chance to recount the story of Coracle's heart, a relic lost somewhere within the crumbling ruins. Okay. Cool. So, n from now on, all the stories are completely different. They don't relate to Generation 1, 2, or 3. Oh, it's not that many quests. I mean, it's, I mean, it's still a lot, but it's not, it's not that many. You got one, two quests, two quests, and then one. 
That's kind of small. What about Generation 8? Oh, it doesn't tell me. Should I do Generation 7 after? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should take a break from Generations. I need to go take a lunch break. But then when I come back, uh, weren't we going to do bartering <laughs> or something? Uh, can a pet loot the gold? Um, I think so, yeah. But they have a time limit. They can't always stay out. One million was closer to ten million. Uh, vaguely relate. G7 is tiny. You can almost start, you can start in almost any order except for G20. Oh, I see. Oh, G7 through 8 are a continuation of G3, kinda. I don't have the mats pre-collected, so we would have to start the collection part process. Um, I mean, I'm down for that. That's okay. We could do that. I'm not sure what I want to do today. One thing is for certain. I It drives me nuts seeing these unread messages. I need to get... I need to deal with them. Oh, hold on. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I love dumb Barton music, but <laughs> I have to... <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> I mean, some Mavi music, it's like a bop, man. It's a bop, but I have to be in like a certain mood to listen to them. It's a bop, though. Whoever, what was the person that created the Mavi music? Was it just one person? Like, doing all of the Mavi, like, currently still doing the Mavi music? Kind of like how Soken is like the god of music in Final Fantasy 14 and 16. <laughs> like, do we have a god of Mabinogi music amongst us? How cool would it be to go to a Mabby concert? I would, I would appreciate, I would like that. That would be fun for me. I would enjoy a concert. I wonder if they've ever done one before. Um... Oh yeah, I was gonna put, I was gonna put, I don't know if I, oh, oh yeah, I finished G3, so. I don't know if I need these. Effin, do not send me anymore. I think I have enough. Um, I don't know if I need these, but I'm holding them for alchemy. I'm holding them for alchemy. Send me maybe one more and that's it. <laughs> oh my god, shut up. Um, what's this? Use. Ooh, AP. Nice. What is this? Adventure is a bag coupon. And I got some of these. What is this? 7x7? Seven seven? Oh, it's bigger than this. Uh. How big is it? How big is an adventure's bag coupon? Like. Like, is it two by two or? You prefer no Nobu Uematsu? Oh, you're not a fan of Soken? That's okay. You're just wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> People gave me so much help for not remembering who that is. <sighs> the internet. Token came in much later. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> Mom, I showed her my play and she goes, what did you do? <laughs> Say to play is on Wednesday. It is, it is on Wednesday. What was I doing? I want, I want to open this, but I kind of don't either. Hmm. Also, can I get rid of any of this stuff? It's like, I only have like a few more spaces left. And I feel like my generation, I'm going to keep getting like passes and, and stuff. But I don't know what to get rid of. <laughs> like, what do I do with all this stuff? Glass glue behind Do I need Blanet's music scroll? Music score? I think I need this book. I haven't been using it though. 
Oh, wait, speaking of, hold on. Hold that thought, chat. Hold on. Hold that thought. I think I'm supposed to talk to Blanid, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I need to talk to Blanid. Okay, I am, oh my god, I'm cumulative level 9,000. Don't mess with me. Freaking, I'm 9,327. Ha ha ha. Oh, what? Oh, he did, Jai? I don't know. Y'all are so awesome with your hobbies and being able to remember anything. Just in life as well. Just your brains. I. You should appreciate your brains because my brain can't remember Jack Squat. I was at my niece's birthday party and my best friend was there. Cause she, obviously she's invited, she's amongst the family. And she was, she was reminding me of, I think a memory I had totally forgotten. I mean, I it sounded like something that we did, but the way she described it, like I just literally sat there and I was like, how do you remember this stuff? Like, how do you, how do you remember anything? Like, what is wrong with my brain? She was re, like, re-encounting like our, like our adventures as children. I was like, how do you remember that? I don't remember anything. At all. You can get the Moonlight Bag from the Growth Guide. It becomes a 9 by 13. Shalom, do you know how big the Moonlight Bag is? Is it like a 2 by 2? Two by two J just because I need to get rid of some but I don't know what to get rid of <laughs> I'm guessing Fergus since it's only six by six same with Christelle I don't know some of these are seven this one's nine by nine seven by seven uh, what are you you're big I want to keep this one what is this one oh this one eh. I saw so many people have two of these who is Jack Squat? <laughs> Sounds like a fitness YouTuber. <laughs> uh, two by three. Oh, okay, so it's as big as these bags. Okay. Hi, Jay Spaceman. How's Mabby today? We're good. We just beat uh Generation Three. Look at that. We did it. Wait, did I finish? Summon Blinded to start a conference. Oh, okay. Now my goal is to do the rest, <laughs> but not today, not today. Not today. We did generation three and I feel like that's good enough for right now. Um, now we're on, I don't know what we're doing. What should I do today, guys? Do y'all need help with anything? I have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna keep this stuff though, because I have a feeling I'm gonna need it when I level up blacksmithing. But I'm already rank one for finding, so I can get rid of that on my bar. Whoop. Metallurgy, handicraft, blacksmithing. That's like something I'm going to work on. Today, probably not. Uh, we were going to do bartering, but I can't. I don't know. Eridus, do you? I see you. I see you. You're doing something. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do I tell me what to do and I will do it? Probably want to get rid of the Fergus bag for the moonlight one. Okay. Deal. What do I do with the bag? What do I do with it? Do I like sell it? Do I NPC it? What do I do with it? We need to get finest fabric. Oh, do we? Hold, please. I have. 26 is this enough I have 26 I don't remember how I got it but I've been collecting do I have any more we need 40 per person oh okay well I don't have that much <laughs> huh okay effin looking cute looking cute uh, how, how do we get finest fabric? 
What do we say to the god of quests? Not today. <laughs> I just love how nice your inventory looks. Really? Thanks. I think it looks horrible. But thank you. I appreciate that. Do G7. No, we did G3 today. Okay, we did enough. We did good. All right. Can pat myself on the back for finishing G3. G7 will be soon. <laughs> G7 doesn't look that long, so. G3 where you're the side character. I really was the side character. I wasn't the main character. Rari made me the main character when he wanted to kill me, but other than that, yeah, I was kind of like a little fly on the wall watching the stories unfold. So, put it in my bank. What if I have no space in my bank? Move it to an alt. Okay. How do you do that? Do I put it, do I have to make room in my bank? Get an alt to take it from my bank? Is that how it works? Or do I drop it and hope that nobody picks it up by the time I log on my alt? <laughs> do items disappear if you log off? I do need to make an alt, like another alt. I need to do the, what did y'all say? Make a human and then make a human and then go to the giants, say that you like the giants, say just kidding and go to the elves and say you like the elves. That's what y'all told me and I was like, okay. Fintel, thank you for the 100 bits. I feel like I'm a betrayer by doing that, but I guess that's fine. Oh shoot, you had some, Jai? No. You should de do G4 through 6. I I uh, I blinked and it was done. So I don't know if I should put that in the world record of me playing video games. But uh, I blinked and it was done. So uh, done. You can put it in another character's bank account. Oh. I see. I do have free character cards. I have, uh, yeah, I have some. The little spinning card things when you log in. I have, I have this. Do you need the Ice Fisher title? Um, I think I have that. Yeah, I'm an Ice Fisher already. Thanks so, Effin. They should have given you like seven. Uh, I don't know how many. I never really counted. But I will do that. I don't want to do that right now, though. <sighs> how do we get Finest Fabric? Let me go to Wiki. Finest Fabric. Finest Fabric. Can we make it? Thick bread. Thick thread? Ah, oh, thick thread balls. Wait. I have zero, <laughs> okay. Uh, to get thick thread balls, we need wool. Um, oh my God, it's like tailoring all over again. To the sheep! Uh, let's say, where, uh, where do we go? A main? A main? Was that for the cows? Hold on, where's a good place to find sheep, guys? You go to tier? Okay, to tier! You get the six or whatever, and you still need to side with giants and elves if you want to max out free character cards. Doo doo. We are a min maxer family, alright? That is what I shall do. <laughs> you bet your sweet little bottom. No! Also, what do I do with this fine wool? Stop giving me fine wool. Give me wool. I don't know what to do with that. What is that for? Yes, there you go. Give me normal wool. You ain't fine. Ah! Stop it! 
Oh, keep it. You can use it in bartering. Uh, you keep it. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't have a pouch for that. No! Stop it! Just give me... How do you just get... Why is it constantly fine? Is it because I'm too high OP? Is it because I'm level 9k? Is it because I'm rank 1 weaving and tailoring? Is that why? Freaking. 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 Okay, this is gonna work, but watch. It's all gonna be fine wool. Oh. Oh, just kidding. It's not. Yeah! Let me get my pet to start getting it. Oh! How dare you move? How do we make the ship sheep sit? <laughs> Can't speak. How do we make the sheep sit? Please sit. Oh. Hold on one second. I'll be back. I'm back. Tom's home early, and I locked the door on him. <laughs> like the bolt. Get up! How many thick thread balls do you think we need to make 40 finest fabric? Oh no, it stopped. Pick it up faster. Oh, there you go. Six, six per, oh! I need to get myself this skill. 240, assuming we don't fail. Wait, what happened? Oh, I guess the sheep ran out of the circle. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna mute the sheep. Cause I think we all know what sheep sound like. There we go, that's better. <laughs> <sighs> You're just too good. Can't get any regular. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Wait. It's kind of hard to tell when they have the, the thingy. Alright, so 240. Easy peasy. How many people are doing bartering? How many... How, how, I know you said 240, but like, what? Eh. According to you, the sheep and the goat sound the same. They kind of do sound similar. They do, Orca. <laughs> no, it moved. Can I tell it to sit? Sit. Oh, I didn't spell it right. Sit. Nope. <laughs> wow, 50 stream streak Tarol. Thank you. Holy cow, you guys. Thank y'all for watching my streams and pretend that you like it. <laughs> I appreciate you doing doing that. 50 stream streak. How you doing, Tarol? Happy Monday. I feel like Monday is a day where people are so antsy. And you know what? I understand. Because Mondays are like that. Or can be like that. <sighs> we just have to take a deep breath. And drink our chemical water. <sighs> and just breathe. 
Every time I try to share mine, it gives me an error. Wait, oh really? It gives you an error? That's weird. Twitch is just stupid, so. How'd you find out I just leave my chat bot here? <laughs> I know things and many may not. I think it's the curse of being a 10 year streamer. Wee. You know, I feel like majority of people would have quit streaming by now if they were in my situation, but I'm the type of person, I am, I never give up. And it's annoying. What did I miss? Everything. Oh! Wait, is it still? I can't tell. Ah! We're trying to get a lot of wool right now. So if you see a sheep that has a little clover above his head, um, stab it with a knife. Actually, just kidding. Um, you kind of just shear it with a knife. I think you're supposed to actually use a sheep shear thingy, but apparently this knife works. So. Oh yeah, and you have to join the party. Oh, first, first step, party. First step, party. I'm using the Vlanid sword to shear these sheep. <laughs> Find a black sheep. They have three bags full. <laughs> Are there actual black sheep besides Lorna in the game? Or is that Pan? I can't remember who is who. Is that the only black sheep in the game? I also never give up besides the times that I give up. <laughs> I feel that on a, some, a spiritual level, Rhea. <laughs> what? We Anything for profit. The goal here is to get 5 million ducats so that I can get an airship. And I know what y'all are going to say. Kylie, stop. Don't do that. The airship thing resets in March. You know what I say about that? I don't even know what I'll, if I'll even be here in March. So you might as well do the things you enjoy, all right? Not saying that I'm going anywhere, you know what I mean? But live your life today. Don't live it for tomorrow. And I want an airship, so I'm getting an airship. Or at least I'm going to try to. And then I'm going to have fun with it. And we're going to do airship commerce. And then we're going to have two airships so that nobody feels left out. Sounds great, right? Uh, why isn't she picking up the wool? Go pick up the wool. What are you doing? What? This one's not even dropping anything. Oh. 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 Kylie, stop. Don't do that. Okay. I know, I know we are, we are a community of min-maxing, and that's Totally understandable and normal, sort of. Uh, so it's okay to want me to succeed, but it's okay, I'll fail. On purpose. I will fail. And it'll be okay. Live your in-game life now, not later. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let me spend my imaginary currency the way I want. Everybody will be okay. These sheep will not be okay if they don't keep popping up clovers. You hear that sheep? You hear that? Oh, they didn't listen. Failing is a part of succeeding. Yes. <laughs> getting logical or getting philosophical here. I wasn't told before. It's okay. You're told now, Orca. Um. Ah. <laughs> feel like I'm ah. I feel like I'm so slow. Please, no. Dang it. How much do we have? That looks like a lot. Is that enough? 
Can I, should I go and make some thick thread balls? I have 345. I do too. I counted. Can I use fine wool to turn it into thick thread balls? I'll collect some more in the meantime. Okay. All right. Uh, where do I go? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. To make finest, oh, no, make thick thread balls. I need a spinning wheel. Now it's too late to properly min max. I gotta delete my tune and roll a giant. <laughs> Why don't you just make another giant? Here we go, spinning wheel. Evan and Orca cursed the day that I told them to play elves with me because I thought we needed to play elves together. Um, in order to play together because like you know how some MMOs do that where they kind of like separate your race I thought that was the case. So I told them to make an elf, but they don't even want to make an elf They wanted to make a giant But now I feel like they've played too long and Now they're stuck like this Oh my success rate's a hundred percent we good Hoarding game items because you might use them later as a thing of the past. We use everything with disregard here. <laughs> I wish I had that philosophy with my inventory. <laughs> We're giant pains in the rear. Oh, I just feel bad y'all couldn't make a giant. <laughs> Making thick thread balls. It's my title. It's okay, I'm cute. Um, your inventory is my paralysis demon. That's okay. Can I make this faster? I think what we decided last time is if I do this and then I uncheck this, right? It makes like all of them in one setting, one sitting. I honestly don't really understand how this works. Oh, it makes 10. Thick thread ball. They can make a giant, but they'd have to restart and blanted and all of that. <laughs> Though I'm being told that you kind of need to or something, which confuses me. Oops. <laughs> Back with the snack, what'd you get? And you have to share with the class. It's the rules. Um, okay, I made 55. Is that enough? Uh, where did I put my gloves? Here they are. All right, finest fabric. We already have 26, so we already got a leg up. Finest fabric. It's 100% success rate, so that's nice. I don't have to worry about ever failing. Finest fabric. Uh, oh. I have 35 now. <laughs> Are you planning on sticking with your regular background music? Uh, no. Now that that made me feel self-conscious. Should I, I'm just kidding. Should I put like Spotify on or something? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm cool with my elf. He has a giant heart and that's what matters in the end. Oh, that's nice. Jelly, candy, and chips, and chocolate. That sounds nice. 
Let's get some EDM going. Give me a list. Oh my god, put Taylor Swift up. We can do that. I'm a Swifty. Am I a really big Swift fan? Taylor Swift fan? I'm a fan, but I'm not like a blah, blah, fan. You know what I mean? But I love her news with Travis lately. It's adorable. K-pop? Link me, link me something. Um, cause you can't just say K-pop and expect me to just pay, play random K-pop. I can't do that. I need like a, a playlist. We need a playlist here. My bad. You're fine, Jai. I need a, I need more sheep now. Darn it. Dang it. Or you can give me the wool. No, don't give me the wool. Don't give me the wool. I made 35. You said we need 40 each, right? Oh my god, this is going to take a while. No! Oh. That was a lot better than I expected. All right, I'll go make it. I am off. <laughs> I thought you were going to fill my inventory. I'm off. Was there an update on playing Spotify music without getting DMCA? So, on OBS, they they have created this beta thingy called, what is it called? Add application audio capture, but it's in beta. So, it's like super glitchy still. Like, occasionally my music that I play will sound crunchy at times. But then you just have to restart it. So, it's not, it's honestly not that big of a deal. But, uh, you can now audio split um, apparently this was a thing for a while, but I had only heard about it recently. Um, but yeah, you can audio split so that you can play music on your stream. However, the VOD, um, will not hear it. And that's great. It's great for both YouTube and it's great for Twitch VODs. Because that's usually how you would get DMCA. Very rarely, un not unheard of. But extremely rarely do you ever get like a live DMCA like takedown. Like I feel like that kind of stuff only happens to really juicy big streamers. And I am not that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much why like um, my audio gets crunchy though. It's because it's still in beta. It was, it did take a little bit to understand, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not really happy with the audio situation, because I can't even use my mixer anymore, because my mixer doesn't, like, when I lower the volume, it only lo lowers the volume for me, not for you guys, and it can be kind of frustrating, as you guys know, I have, like, audio issues, but just because I'm learning still, trying to get the feel for it. Um, shuffle... Hold on, let me, let me make sure I have, is my Spotify music down? See, this is like super loud for me, but it sounds fine for you all. Thankfully, this headset allows me to turn down the volume. But because I turn down the volume, and if somebody does an alert or something, it makes it really hard to hear. <laughs> so, anyways, long story short, uh, technically, no, it's still not allowed, J Spaceman, but there's a ways around it. So, I feel bad for the people on YouTube, though, because they're, like, they don't hear anything when I play music. It's just silence. But then they can put their own music on. I'm literally only talking about the people that watch my VODs. Which is... Hold. Hold, please. Which is a grand total of 22 people. So those 22 people, I'm so sorry, but you guys will not be hearing music. So play your own music. <laughs> <clears throat> Why doesn't Twitch just partner up with Spotify? Uh, I think there's a multitude of reasons why they cannot do that. I love anyone else. All right, I am working on the fabric now. 
bouncing frog. Thank you for 29 months. Hi, I guess. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Dang it. It made all of it. I have 49 now. Woohoo. I'm coming back, Eridus. Wait, making... I should probably say I'm making finest fabric. Finest fabric. We. <laughs> Twitch can't even afford their own servers. Uh, <laughs> it's a spot of, to part of, but the thing is even partnering up with Spotify, like every artist has like rights and licensing and blah, blah, blah. that's confusing. That's a avenue I have no idea how to go down. If Kylie starts singing the song, she'll just look kind of insane in the VOD. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I do. But, I mean, that's honestly not too crazy, though, Superway. Because, like, um, I always sing, like, music randomly, like, around my apartment. Sometimes Tom is so cute. He'll, like, also sing along with me. Like, I had Jingle Bells stuck in my head for, like, a long time. And I would just sing Jingle Bells randomly. Just randomly. Even past Christmas. <laughs> <sighs> oh, we need to catch more. Do you, want, do you want your bag back? I obviously am going to give it back, but I'm going to assume you want me to wait until after this is done. My hair looks sil super silky. Thanks. In a bit? Okay. Every viewer will listen to the song on their own Spotify. They're paying for it. Oh, kind of like how you can watch stuff with Twitch Prime, like how streamers, we can watch it together. Interesting. Interesting. And then otherwise, they just have it muted. Sounds like a cool idea. But keep in mind that they only were able to do that because they're owned by Amazon. And that's the reason why that's a thing. But, but it's never not a possibility. I still want freaking Twitch to partner up with Crunchyroll. They've done stuff with Crunchyroll in the past, but man, being able to watch anime with you guys would be great. <laughs> freaking amazing, and especially if it was like a loud. Oh, that would be so nice. I mean, technically there's some anime on Amazon Prime, but it's different. It's different. Why is there no clovers? Crunchyroll? You don't know what Crunchyroll is? It's basically just a streaming platform that has a ton of anime, and it's great. But it's also a sub you have to pay. It's the unfortunate part. Working myself half to death? That doesn't sound good. How's Mabinogi? It's Mabinogan. It's a Mabinogan the best. It's good, though. Christmas is year-round holiday. Yeah, especially for Tom. He, keep, he keeps hearing me sing it. Gaba, winch! Till they started charging for all anime. I don't remember the time that they never charged, to be honest. That must have been before my time. Mavi going. There we go, Jibberl. Birds, hey! Thank you for the 89 months. Hello. That's a long time. How you doing? Ah, wait, what? He gave me one. Oh. Does this count? Oh, it did. They used to have free anime? Yeah. Well, we can say the same about how some subscription services are going up in price. Or they'll charge you to still watch ads. So dumb. I hate it. It's like, oh, for all, the price of six ninety nine, you can watch this with ads, or you can pay fifteen ninety nine and not have ads. Wow, what a deal! And you can't share it amongst your uh, family. They have to live in the same household as you because uh, you are disqualified. <laughs> Hulu. Hulu does that a lot. Pretty much like every subscription service I think does that now. 
Do you watch anime on Discord on Sunday? Oh, yeah, we, sorry, we do watch anime on Discord on Sunday, it's true. But I kind of wish it was, like, on Twitch. Like, that would be cool. It's, like, allowed and stuff. Ayo Birds is old enough for school. That is true. <laughs> seven, year, seven years of lurking. Not always lurking. Not always. Oh, you were answering Superway. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, we have Anime Club. We've been watching an anime called Chi Haya. Fudu, Shanghaiya Fudu, and we've also been watching um, Freerin. Freerin, how much do you have? I have 42 uh, balls of wool. I'm getting rid of this. Uh, and then I have 49 finest fabric, and I have five thick thread balls. I want to join. You can join. We're just gathering wool right now because we need to make thick thread balls to make finest fabric. Time to party! Yeah! Woo! <sighs> it's okay. I know your frustration though. I'm tired of prices going up too. I feel you. Eventually, we're going to be paying more than cable. So, yay. Um, darn it, Christelle, freaking, ah! I'll pick it up in a second. Can I do two sheer, oh, I can. Okay, there you go. I found some sheep in channel eight that are stuck behind a fence. Oh, <gasps> where? How did they get stuck? Wait, does that mean that they won't move? Oh, like this? It's so annoying when they move. What channel? We're on channel uh six. Yeah, let's go. Let's go there. Should we wait until this is over? And then let's go to where Gibral is. Okay. Okay, let's finish up this thing first. I don't know how this works. I'm assuming it it'll be a waste if we uh, yeah, it's timed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I know, right? J Space, there, so there's a, there's these tech abilities or tech skills. I forgot what this one's called. Phantasmal something. Um, but basically it, it, it puts these little icons above the, uh, node. I want to say gathering node because it can be an animal. It could be like herbs like a plant it could be like multiple things um but basically when it has a clover it means that you're like guaranteed a huge lucky finish and that means like over what is it 20 things will fall out of it i don't know it's basically like a really nice thing to to do it basically saves time otherwise you have to do it like one by one um, okay, let's head to Jibril. So let's go to channel eight. So channel eight. Um, this is an old school Mavi trick. Old school Mavi trick. We canceled Netflix for the first time since we signed up for the mail, or since we signed up for the mail DVDs. Wait, mail DVDs, Superway? Wait, what? What is that? Isn't that what they were known for at the very beginning when they first came out? You can play as a wolf pet and make the sheep run away from you because they're naturally hostile towards you. And that's how people get them stuck behind fences and trees. What? Oh my god, there's so many! Oh! <gasps> oh wow. I need to get a wolf then. Holy cow! That's cool. I hope this person doesn't mind us using their sheep. That was nice. It resets during maintenance. Oh. Well, whoever did this, I hope you don't mind. 
Things are getting so high. I think soon I'd rather go back to cable with the TiVo days to when you could fast forward the commercials. I don't even remember TiVo, but but I I don't know. Back then, commercials was just a part of life, so I was like, whatever. The only problem is I it, that I like is that being able to watch what you want to watch instead of having to use like the TV program to figure out what's gonna air. Wow, this is really hard to see, I'm not gonna lie. I can't even click on it. Oh, maybe I need to just zoom up, oh, zoom in. This is really hard to see. My grandma eyes are struggling. Ah, ah. Like the neighborhood. Doll bag? Oh. My bad. She out? She's out. Okay. Sorry, that was my bad. Um Kylie aging you. Oh, was that <laughs> I don't think we had TiVo. <laughs> I don't know. The transition of... The transition of not using cable to where we are today, I can't remember it. Yeah. I guess it was the DVD phase of when Blockbuster was like slowly transitioning out and you would go to like Redbox or whatever and get the DVDs and then and then it slowly became to like the streaming services yay all right I'll go make I'll go make I'll be back I'll go make some finest fabric cool Netflix used to send DVDs yeah, right? Before they were streaming, you order DVDs and they would mail they'd be mailed to you and you then you mailed them back. Yeah. Yeah, that's what basically made Blockbuster not a thing anymore, right? Isn't that like the whole reason? I mean, there's probably other reasons too, but when I am able to do things varies greatly so being able to choose to watch something at any time is very valuable same but why is it gotta be so expensive i mean at least you can like just choose netflix but feel like there's there all the cool shows are on like so many different ones i stopped watching tv before the whole transition to web services Maybe, maybe that was me too. Maybe that's why I can't remember the transition very well. I remember VHS too, Rhea. We still have all of our D our Disney VHS tapes. Heck yeah. I like that. I used to record. <laughs> this was back in high uh. I think middle school, high school, where I, like, <laughs> Inuyasha would be on way too late at night on Adult Swim, and I had to go to bed before, because I had to wake up the next day and go to school, right? And also, I'd get in really big trouble anyways. <laughs> so, what I would do is we had a VHS tape, and I would just tape the shows I would tape the show to like start recording at a specific time. <laughs> and then when I got home, I had something fun to watch. <laughs> but then sometimes Adult Swim would mess up and they'd be like, oh, we actually aired it one hour later. So then I would be so disappointed the next day. Oh, oh, so disappointed. It was like such a grievance I have with Adult Swim because I think I, I always followed their TV guide that was in the newspaper. Oh my god, I'm old.
Oh my god, I feel like I don't know if my experiences are the same as y'all's, but uh, that's what I used to do. So I would come home and I would obviously rewind it and watch it. And then I would just tape over it, right? Because <laughs> because I didn't have an extra tape and I didn't really care to save the episodes. I just wanted to watch the episodes. Sweet 30s hits hard. It really does. Did you have your VCR record on a timer? Yeah. I didn't it the one I had didn't didn't any didn't do anything fancy. Like I couldn't set it to only record one thing. It was only time based. Like that was the only option. <laughs> don't make fun of me. TV guide on paper, no idea what you mean. Shut up. You do know what I mean. You're my age. Dang it. Kylie, it's just us two that are gonna barter. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one trying to get the airship, so I'm assuming that's the case. I remember having to fight over which shows to record. Oh my god, yeah! You had to only choose. You can only choose one. No, I'm older. Oh, well, then you understand. Oh, that's why you put the kappa. That's what we all had to deal with before DVRs. Yeah, that was before DVR days. And then, yeah, and then we eventually did get DVR. Oh my god, I'm remembering. And then you could record the exact show. So I had that eventually. But before those days, I had the good old VHS tape, tape thing. You never knew. My dad taught me. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Doesn't even ask if we want an airship too. I'm assuming what we'll do, Orca, is we can like trade. Like I can get the airship and then you guys can hoard all your Ducats and then get an airship. And then we kind of like, set, you know? I don't know. I don't know if that's what y'all want to do. Or you can buy whatever else with Ducats. <laughs> I'm at 72, Eridus. Oh, wait, should I go back? I should probably go back, huh? Uh, oh, I see everybody. Okay, I was like, crap, where did everybody go? I'm here. Are y'all picking up the wool? Pick up the wool. Ah. My arms are too short to reach that. Don't let me go. Ah. 72 finest. Yes. I have 72 finest fabric in my pouch. Thank y'all for helping. Thanks for finding this, Dibril. I wonder how long it takes to make this sheep stick behind the fence. Probably a long time. Mm -hmm. I think we have enough wool for 80. Oh, okay, should I stop then? I might as well keep going because until the phantasmal thing goes away. Oh, Ducats reset next season. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. I take that back. <laughs> I'm, okay. All right, cool. We did it. We did it. Oh, hello, Zilmi. Thank you. I'll bring these bags back to you. After all that, not even two stacks of fine wool. Do you need fine wool? Here you go. 
Shoot, I've been dropping my fine wool because I was getting annoyed because <laughs> I can't do anything with it. Yay! <laughs> the lightning thing. Does it not get annoying? You like it? You like being struck by lightning? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jibril the bu Busy, your title couldn't be more accurate. It helps people know I dropped something for them. <gasps> oh, I didn't even think about that. It's like a little note of a little graphic notification. Interesting. Wait, where'd it go? <laughs> Is this all wool for me? <laughs> I used to record Pokemon. My heart broke when the VHS recording got messed up due to the tape being too worn. Oh, <gasps> no. Do I need more wool? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I need to go and make the thick thread balls. I'll be right back. Actually, I will be in the town. Away I go. Thanks for getting wool for me. Hi, happy duty. This looks fun. We, <laughs> and we're playing an MMO called Mab no Yi. Uh, well, I'm currently making fabric because we need fabric. So, sure in the sheep, the good life, you know, the simple life of being a, a wool farmer. Does <laughs> he? We don't need to process it. I have 13 finest. Uh, do you mean we don't need to make finest fabric? Because we have enough. Mm. Should I give back the wool then? What else do you do with wool? Don't you just have to put it into thick thread balls? Like what else do you do with it? Thank you, Peru. Does anybody have a mushroom a homestead full of mushrooms? Um there are people with that booger. Oh, they added me. Is that mushrooms? This part, I think I, they added me back. That was nice. <laughs> um, this person's homestead has hazelnut mushrooms. Are these what you need to do? Oh, gold light brown and hazelnut they have all three assuming that's all three do you want me to give you their name i love i love japanese older songs oh my god thank you for your help have the fine wool yes uh who is the per where is the person that gave me the wool bags i need to return them Japanese 80s music is what we listened to when um, we were heading to Hakone. When Tom and I were heading to Hakone, we took, we borrowed his dad's car and we drove there. And his dad had like a CD on. And it was just, I can't even remember the CD, but it was just a bunch of like Japanese 80s songs. And I was like vibing hardcore. I don't think this was one of them, but I was vibing so much while we were driving in Japan. <laughs> going to Hakone, going to our Ryokan. Oh, so nice. I did get really scared of um, the really steep mount mountainous roads going up and down Hakone. They're literally like snakes like this. The roads, and they're so small. Oh, 
that part freaked me out but i didn't drive it was tall but i was just sit, still sitting there in the passenger seat like <laughs> freaking out <laughs> look at those sheep yeah zelmi i need to give you your bags back but i'll be patient because you're going ham with that wool oh oh here are you good I ended up not needing to use these because we had enough finest fabric. We need to make plates now in Bangor. <gasps> I'm a refiner. Thank you, Zelmi. Zimi, Z, Zelmi. No, I did right. I did say that right. Thank you for helping, guys. Um, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's go to um Bangor now. You said Bangor, right? Just like an initial D. What? Did the roads have fences at least? Uh... They weren't too close to the edge, so I don't think, from what I'm remembering, there wasn't any fences, but there didn't need to be. <laughs> it was still terrifying, though, because you could barely see, like, if a car was coming. L luckily, we were driving at night, kind of luckily, but then you could see an approaching car coming by the headlights so we knew we were okay but uh, uh we need 50 gold plates okay i already have four Woohoo! oh we have 98 percent lar nine large mithril nails The anime takes place on Japanese mountain roads. Oh, does it? Hakone was really nice, though. I miss that place. I want to go again if we go back to Japan. You need help with 30 silver ore? How do you need help? Like, help getting it? If you check the box at the bottom, it'll craft more than one at a time. Do you mean uncheck? Oh, hold on. Just kidding. I thought that said 10. Mm, never mind. Harvest song would get that percentage up to a hundred. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Somebody already read your mind. Um. Thanks, Liz. Oh, for Grandmaster. Oh, <gasps> I need to do my damn test. Oh shoot, this music is so good, but I bad word. This one's okay. Um, well, it goes like to 80, then 100. <laughs> Wait, how many gold bars? Oh, 50. 50. We need 50 gold bars. <laughs> Making stuff. There we go. Uh, Wait, what the heck? Why isn't this playing? Oh, freaking because my mom's listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why did it stop? Um, ha can I have help getting silver ore? Let's see. How do, how does one get silver ore again? Very dungeon, right? 
Or you can do... How high is your metallurgy scale, Onyx? You want to join Kylie's party, though, so I can help with Phantasmal Sight, or maybe we can form our own party? Oh, for the mining places for Phantasmal Sight. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the ore, not fragment. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Thanks for helping, Onyx, guys. So after I make 50 gold bars, then I make nails. Best blueberry jam. Yum. Ooh, I leveled. Um, what is this Grand Master for? Is this for Grand Master Refiner Onyx? Or a blacksmith? You can turn ingots back into ore. Oh, Grand Master Blacksmith. Wow, that means you're a rank one blacksmith? Do you have any um, uh, tips for a rank F blacksmith person? You can get master blacksmith with rank B, fake it till you make it. Oh, I see. <laughs> I, that's true, you can, depending on Depending on the other skills you have ranked, right? I think I'm. Th I think I'm getting confused with Dan, Dan and Grandmaster. <laughs> the water. I have one million gold. I think I need to deposit some money, otherwise it's gonna drop on the ground. Yeah, it'll drop. It'll drop anyways. Well, it's still best to do get to the habit of deposit deposit my money. How do I get how do I hold more gold chat? Isn't there like an item I can use? Blandon was talking to me about it near the beginning and I already forgot what she said. Okay, I made 50. At 10k, oh yeah, yeah, I get 1 million more. Okay, hold on, let me deposit my gold. Speaking of gold. Oh no. Been round in circles, got two stuck up in my head. Um, what do I make now? Mithril nails? How many? Large mithril nail? Nine? Oh. Wow, they take 20 each. Oh, there is a whole guild guide. You're right. I think I've seen that guide. I'm going to be honest with you. Some days I'm like, I'll read it. And some days I'm like, get that away from me. <laughs> I don't want to read it. <clears throat> Today is one of those days, unfortunately. Right now I don't have to because I'm not leveling up. I'm not trying to level up blacksmith. I'm just currently making enough material so that we can uh, barter. But, but, like, this week has been great. I've been working on life school skills. I got rank one tailoring, rank one, rank one weaving, rank one refining, and then 
I need to work on these skills. Or at least these are the skills I chose to work on. I might give up if they're too hard, but not give up, just like give up temporarily. But wow, refining, weaving, and tailoring took like minutes <laughs> to do. Granted, I had been hoarding a lot of materials because everybody told me to do that. And I got a lot of help. So. <gasps> Wait, I have silver ore. I didn't realize this was silver ore. I thought that was mithril. But mithril is a different color. Oh, he needs to mine it. Oh, okay. My my thing with metallurgy, it frustrates me so much. So far, this skill, I have to freaking find a gold ore fragment. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying so hard yesterday. I couldn't. I get. I couldn't. I promised I was gonna work on it off stream. What's that? Perfume. And yeah, you could post it. Sorry, I didn't see your quite. Yes, you can post the link too. But we. Ooh. But we do have a discord i think our discord might be better to post it there because then i can pin it for other people to see it but i don't know if y'all want to join the discord and i'm not talking about my streamer discord i made a mabinogi discord because uh one text channel in my streamer discord wasn't enough that's the link if you want to join that's if up to you guys it's open to everybody everybody even though it's called, it's named after my guild, but it's, it's for guild members and, and friendos and anybody that wants to join. Wyvern hunting? Cool! Okay. Hot air ballooning? Or Kalita? Cool. Okay. Which one? This one or this one? Second one? Wait, doo doo. Booger, where are you? Did you log off? Crap. I'm gonna keep this up. Thank you, Jibril. Oh, what? You can get metallurgy nodes in public homesteads? What can homesteads not do, man? I didn't know you, you can. <laughs> What do I do? I forgot. I know we have to, do you want me to buy the rocks? Let's see, I, uh, I got it, okay. We're hot air ballooning! Not gonna lie, I absolutely freaking love hot air balloons in real life. We have a hot air balloon festival here every September. And it is the most magical experience, assuming that they can actually go up in the air because if the weather isn't suitable. Um, this should be quick. Okay. Uh, but if the weather isn't suitable, they can't go in the air. But it's still pretty when they're on the ground. But oh my god, when you see like... Over 20 hot air balloons get launched into the sky. It is the coolest thing. It is the coolest thing. We need eight big stars. Okay. I will, I will try my best. Kind of hard to see them. Oh my god, they're dropping out. <laughs> it looks funny. Should I use like 
Oh. Ow. Should I use like Mirage Missile? Because then it, it'll always hit them, right? Oh, don't pass 10 stars. Oh. What? Okay. Uh. Okay, we got eight. We got eight. We got eight. We got eight. Do I keep hitting? Oh, one more kill? Okay. There. <laughs> Done? Oh, that was fast. You were right. Don't different beaches have higher chances for things? I don't remember where I saw that or if I imagined it. Maybe it was in a dream, Effin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It probably is a thing. Bookmarking the homesteads for easy access. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. I will do that. What's up, chill? How are you doing today? Mavi needs to increase zoom out. Mom! Dang it. Stop it. Stop it. How do I make it so that it stops connecting to her? Oh my god, she stopped it! <laughs> ah! It's connected to her phone, because she used to have my old phone. Anyways, um, what do I do? You're so dang beautiful, you make me sick, chat. Get Wyvern Claws from the awards. From Kelpie? Oh. Closer, don't make me wait. Four Wyvern Claws. Okay, I got four. Give me. Uh, you need to craft them. Whoa. Okay. What are you going to craft? Is this handicraft? Is this handicraft? Yes. Oh. Oh. Are we bartering? Yes! We are. We're making this stuff to barter. My handicraft is only ranky, so I can't be much help. But, I'll work on it. Rain effects gem drop chance. Ooh. This is rank 6. Oh. Wow, this is a cool, the public homestead chart, Jibril, that you put in, it's so pretty. It's a pretty chart. Like, that's really pretty. That's, it has like the photos of things and everything, and it says yes or no. Wow. What are the extra rows? Probably nothing. Went to sleep at four yesterday. What? Why? That's so late. Ooh, finest firewood. My wife and I used to have connected Spotify and I would put my little pony song on when I knew she was in the car. That's what I was doing to my mom. I was pinning... Because she was picking up my grandma from her house and uh, they were in the car and I saw that it switched <laughs> to her her car. Her car's name is Baby Yoda. <laughs> or I guess the phone's, it's got, the phone's name is Baby Yoda. But anyways, when, I, when it says Baby Yoda, it's playing Spotify, I know it's in her car. So I play I played like Cinderella music because they were on our, they were on the way to my sister's, um, 
house for my niece's birthday and it's Cinderella themed. <laughs> She's like, I don't know why the music kept playing Cinderella. That was me. <laughs> I could have played something much worse, <laughs> but I didn't do that, obviously. I wouldn't have wanted to get her in an accident or anything. It was just Cinderella mu music. I just joined in to catch the end of the stream and I wasn't expecting music. Which music? Do me, is that so wrong? Stay up for so long. Is it this one or is it the BTS song with Snoop Dogg? Or Jungkook? Jungkook? Baby Yoda sip. Mm -hmm. Have you been to the Magic Craft place? No, Orca was telling me about Magic Craft. I don't think I have that skill yet. To be honest, I have no idea what to expect. Let's go to Philia. Okay. To Philia. Oh, this one? I miss Jungkook though. Do you know this song? Today's daily trade is Topaz. Uh, we're in Philia. Do we need to go to like the trade place? The moon! Wait, why can't I move? Oh. Is that so wrong? Me or stay up for so long? I like these songs on my playlist. They're like feel good, make you happy songs. I'm assuming I have to go here. Eridus, let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're... Oh, more north? Wow! Whitney, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. Oh, this place. Uh... I've been here, but I never really understood what this place was. Oh, you do magic craft here? Oh yeah, I don't have the magic craft skill. I got in. <laughs> Am I not supposed to be in here? Ooh, toes. I think I remember seeing this. <laughs> we love toes. Eat toes. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um... A prereq? I guess not. District 2. I need to go magic craft as well, I think. Like to level it up, Jibril, or to make something. What are we doing? What do I do here? What do you want me to do here? Kill stuff? Kill the bunnies? Oh. Uh, the bunnies? Oh. Ah, oh, it's the ancient bunny! Am I supposed to be getting, like, items from it, or just killing the bunny? Oh, wait, what am I... Ah! We want their feet? Oh, okay. Come here, bunny. I need your feet. Oh, there. Mutant rabbit foot. Here, you can pick that one up. <laughs> you barter every week? It resets every week, right? 
What do you do with your ducats, Jibro? Do you buy anything with them? Oh, jeez. These plants are mean. I'm not even meaning to hit them. Oh, there we go. Oh. Die. Um, there, mutant rabbit foot. The commerce boxes are expensive uh, and RNG, but I've made some decent gold out of it. The commerce boxes is what you use for uh, bartering, right? Is that what you mean? How many do we, how many do we need? I have two. <laughs> Let me check. Okay. Uh, no, they are seasonal reward boxes you can buy for 500k due cost each. Oh, they have a chance of quality potions and make enchants only. And some enchants only from those boxes. Oh, okay. Cool. I got a foot. No. Ah, ah. <laughs> the fireball is so slow. <gasps> Wait, enchant scroll. Hey, listen. Aw, cold. Thank you so much for the 2,000 bits. I got an assault. Uh, I got an assault enchant scroll. Is that good? <laughs> I think these things drop them. Thank you so much, Cold. Oh, it's outdated. Dang it. Okay. I didn't know. Sometimes these... Oh, fine leather. I'll take that. So it's chance scroll. There's some good enchants here. Oh, are there? I was wondering because like I need more enchants on my stuff. I don't have much. This one's done. I got nostalgic decks. I don't have anything on my armor piece because I failed it so many times. And then contemplate on my shoes and I'm not even wearing the right gloves. Uh, and then camo on my glove for now. Something for now. Mutant rabbit foot. Uh, also, Eridus, did you say how many we need? Because I couldn't see it if you said it. <laughs> 60? Okay. Does anybody want to come help us kill some rabbits? It's wabbit season. There's, uh, oh wait, I read that. Oh, Dibril, you're here. Dibril the busy. Busy, busy. I have something? What is this? What is this line? To help for this area? What need is to be struck. Okay. Do you need careful to big plants? No fireball. Oh yeah, I learned the hard way. <laughs> ah! Like that! <laughs> oh wait, I have something to make you. Oh, okay. Oh, it's make me tank the fireballs? Oh. A rope? Massive fire elemental. Cool. Uh, okay. 
Okay. I don't know what that is. What do I do? So... Where did the robe go? Here it is. I put that on. And, uh... So... Uh, you can put your robe on your gear, and after that, use the massive fire elemental. Okay, use. What? Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. Enchant fire. If you have all nine, like everything has one, two, three, four, five, six... Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I see. You can only get eight. Yeah, because I got it. Oh, I see. What was the... What about these potions? What are these things? You'll take one... Oh, uh... There's one weakness. You will take da double damage to ice, but very rarely do enemies use ice. Ah, cool. Thanks, Jibril. Oh. Cool. I can uh, minimize my fireball damage here. That's nice. Phantasm in this area. Oh, they're great for Phantasm in this area. Thanks. Oh, wait. What are these for? Hold on. Intestines that wrap your body in the energy of wavelengths similar. Oh, they do. It does say fire. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. I see. So that's the eight. Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks, Edwarden. Area one has way more rabbits. There is a little tiny bug trying to fly away or fly around me. It wants to die. Ran out of mobs here. Oh. Do they not come back? Wait, there's so many bunnies here. Die! You gather them with a fire wand. Oh, okay. I want to try to get hit by a fireball. Uh, yeah. How do I get hit by a fireball? Fireball me! <laughs> it's very cheap to make. Guy wants to do thunder on me or thunder against me. Ah! They do, but it takes a while after you kill them a ton. Oh, I see. Should I leave? Oh, God. Oh, God. Only 169 damage. Not bad. This thing's annoying though. <laughs> Instead of like 2k. Yeah. Not bad. Justin, thanks for the 30 stream streak. How are you doing today? Hope your Monday's going well. You need feet? Yeah, we need 50. I have 14. Uh, oh, we're done? Oh, we're done. Never mind. You have 47. Oh, we needed 50 total, so 25 each. Don't, never mind. Don't take my help. <laughs> Screw your help. Oh, we needed 60. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Screw
Screw you, I don't want to give you feet anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> Wait. Antisocial. <laughs> okay. Everyone falls down sometimes. How do I get that quest? Please give me your feet. <laughs> Ew, there it is. Um, magic craft. Look how many, oh, look how many skills I still need to learn, guys. There's so many. There's a doppelganger skill? I don't see magic craft. I want to do wine making. I don't see it. Oh, maybe it's not in this list. Maybe it's under hidden. Neighborhood plus no, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I have seventy six feet. You should keep them, Ty. You'll probably need them later. Maybe to level magic craft or something. Here, let me look that up. Is it is the skill actually called magic craft? Magic craft. Orca FN, do you have that skill? Oh my god, use the magic knowledge of the ancient elves. Ugh, next. How the heck do you get even, how do you get a skill? Ah, uh, craft mana bullets. I see. You do? Do you remember how you got it? Was it a... Feeling good. Collect a frail green kiwi. <laughs> Almost done? Okay. Just need to make some special firewood with carpentry. Oh, I have rank F carpentry. I'll add it to my list of to make, to do. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not. It's not okay. To Dougal Isle. All right. Have you tried using the cauldron? I clicked on it. It wouldn't let me click on it. I messed up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm guessing they're leveling up their skills. Um, Magic craft used to be one of the most tedious skills to train, but you can make this potion called the Shillian Assimilation Essence. This thing! To make you gather the items here much easier without monster aggro. Oh, that's what you meant by this is... Oh... It's basically a free rank one since all of the training materials are obtained in, in one area. Ah. She should have it if she clicked it. Hmm. 
Maybe I do? I clicked on it. Where does it appear under? Under magic? Ah! There it is. Let me help you! Oh, I need firewood. Hold on. Oh, I'm broke. <laughs> I broke, here it is. I, I deposited all my gold. <laughs> no! I'll be right back. You're almost done? Oh, okay. I'll just watch you then. <laughs> One of these days, I'll cast a, a, cl um, a cloud on your parade. Or, uh, what is what is it saying? <laughs> they just need to buy some base. Oh, then just need to buy some base potions. I think I have all the mats to barter. Oh! Today's Monday, right? We can go a little past four to barter, uh, Eridus. Because we probably have to go from what? Karu Forest, question mark, to... Oh. Okay, what? Para to Kalita? Para. North of the giant place? Ah. Oh! So Para to Kalita? Wow, that's not long. Like an atom bomb. It is? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> How did I close this? Close. We collect two barter locations and then to tier. Oh, okay. Never mind. Me and this random have been blasting the rabbits with guns. We basically divided the map in half without a word. Without a word said? Mutual respect for one another in the, in the sense of grinding in Mabinogi. Love to see it. Oh, special. Oh my god, what is that? Is that what you made out of the rabbit feet? <laughs> Yay! Okay. What did what did you what do you have to get, Jibril? Okay, so Dumbarton. Stop me now. I like to prep for two weeks worth of materials due to your work schedule. Oh. What do you do for work, Jibril? If you don't mind me asking. Just out of curiosity. I'm not able to gather as many mats every other week. Uh, does bartering, bartering's only like once a week, right? Or, I'm trying to remember. It's weekly. So when we went to Karu, but it's time consuming to get the mats. Right. So you kind of just like focus on like a specific route, maybe? It resets on Saturdays, okay. We could do Karu again. Right. Uh, 
Oh, you want to show me different routes. Okay, but most people just choose maybe like one route and just focus on getting the materials for that route because otherwise that's a lot of, that's a lot. You can do all of them. Do people do that? Jibril, do you do that? I just hit commands in a black box and I have no idea what they do. <laughs> okay, so you're a coder. I'm assuming. <laughs> Um, you do that? Oh my god, Eridus. That's a lot. Well, that's okay. Pol pl plus, plus has a YouTube short on barter for those who may be interested. Let's get started with Hello. barter comics. Hey, I, 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 this is the guy that's like 300k. I love this song, but I need to find like the non-explicit version of this song. Um, I saw him. I, he was in the reward show. He's a barter champion. What is? What is that? This? Oh, there he is. I haven't been collecting my awards, by the way. Am I in, gonna get in trouble for that? I came back too late to even try to push ranks. I've been lazy. I'm rank 26. I started late. Top 10 looks tough to get. What do you get? What do you get for being top top 1 again? Oh. Oh, this. You get this thing. This pink Oh, you get a title coupon? Fifty precise reforging tools. That's it. You like the challenger box? What's the challenger box? Oh, if you forget to get your rewards, you can get them later. Oh. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Oh. You get the Challenger second co title, 20 precise reforging tools. Oh, it gives you movement speed. Enables a special visual effect. I wonder what the visual effect does. Oh, it's different per season? Cool. You should work on the Commerce Grandmaster. Okay. Oh, does it stack, Dibril? You, like, always have it? What am I looking at? Oh, the feet! The feet! So I was looking, I was like, is it this? Or is it the pink glow? <laughs> oh, it technically is red, but it looked pink for a second. But it's the blue feet! Ah, your feet are cold, Jabril. I'm just kidding. That looks pretty. So it's like... Oh my god. I like to stack it with this title. Wait. The Master of Catering?
Oh, I, I really need to fix my music to make it family friendly. Cater, Cater Master has a visual. Oh, is it the like that? Is that it? Oh, I like it. It's cute. Yeah, I'm sorry. My music's not family friendly yet. Just pretend you didn't hear it. Says I'm not the time around. I just never come between us. I like your shoes. Your whole outfit's so cute. Oh, and you have a bow, too. Cute! Cute, 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 cute. What are you making, Eridus? Base potion? Can't you just buy those? Oh. I don't know what that is. <gasps> Wait, I do know what that is. Marionette is puppet, right? So, potions for your puppet? Did you need potion making? My potion making is day on one. Oh, wake me up dreaming. Zinc or fragment, nickel or fragment. Oh, you get those from that uh, hill wind thing, don't you? Day on one potion make. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> when I was learning about uh, Danning. We, uh, I attempt, my first attempt of danning was potion making and I failed. It was so hard. But then I realized that you can just uncheck the box and it doesn't make it one by one. It just makes like a group of them. That was the trick. That's all you needed. That's all you needed. And then you just needed to check the HP. But not so bad. And then I got crash shot. Dan one too. I haven't been doing those though. I need to do them like every day, but <laughs> my goal today was to finish generation three, so you always gotta have a goal every day, right? If you ever get stuck on any Dan test, there's a YouTube guide for every Dan test. Really? Okay, that's gonna be helpful. Some people say there's a lot of really difficult Dan tests, and I'm like, ah. It's kind of fun, though. Not going to lie. That's kind of cool that there's, like, tests for all of these skills, right? Like, it's a test, and it's like a mini game. Sort of. I mean, the crash shot one was really, really easy. You just killed them, right? But, like, the potion making one was like a mini game. Yeah, the concept's so cool. Oh, Yamanoki. They, but some tests are very hard. We got everything! Yay! I need 27 finest fabric. So we didn't make enough? Oh, just kidding. do this here 
You get what you need out of this. I don't know how to separate it. <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, you can only do 10 at a time. Oh. Do your shoes glow? Is that because of your second title or do those shoes just glow? What are those shoes? That's pretty. Cheerful bride's heel. Did you get married? <laughs> but some tests are... Oh, wait, I read that. I'm crafting up a glitter box. Look at your shoes. They just glow. All right. Are we ready now? I have 45. Do we need to make five more finest fabric? Didn't you say we needed 50? Oh, okay. 40. Okay. Um. Are you sending it to me on Discord? Oh. Okay, hold on. Um. Oh, I was like, where'd the potions go? Here they are. Uh, the yellow is the amount we will buy. Okay. Oh, so you have to do like five times 10. So that's why we needed 50. Three times 10. That's why I needed 30. Okay, I got it. Uh. Okay, so 40, we have more than 40, more than, I have 66 glittering paper, okay. HP 500 potion. Do these count? I needed, what, 16? I have 20, but do those count? Um, we needed three mutants, uh, six perfume, uh, nine special firewood. Yep. Nine. Nine. Uh, oh, I have way more finest firewood, but that's good. I think it's just the HP 500 potion. Thanks, Orca. I couldn't watch the last two anime club sessions. Who's going for in? What do you mean, who's going for in? Thanks, Erin. <laughs> All right, should we go barter now? Woo, bartering. Do we head to Peru, Para? I think we already two pair of beach okay para uh where para beach what where is that where is that, Erdis? There's Paravolcano, Farron. Oh, how's it going? Oh, watching Farron? Oh my God, so good. We are, we finished episode three. Oh, Zardine Beach. Oh, okay. Got it. Wait. Is your gold empty? Yes. Zero. <laughs> Does it need to be more? Uh, 
No? Okay. Yeah, it's zero right now. I'm broke. Let me give you a guarantee. Wait! I think I have some. I have an imp letter of guarantee and three ogre letters of guarantee. Should I use this one? This one's bigger? Oh. I cried in the second episode. The anime is really, really good, but it is emotional, yeah. I need to rewatch episode two because I was kind of distracted when we were watching episode two. I need to rewatch it. I wanted to rewatch it with Tom. Get that Ducat, Orca. M's fine leather of guarantee. How do we get these again? All right. I'm going to use it. Do I use it? Oh, gotcha. Do I use it now? I need to use it now, right? What the heck is that thing? Later? Okay. All right. So, all right. So, I need my wagon. I need 10 of these. Do I do this now, Eridus? Do you have the trader skiff? What's that? No, I don't. Wait, wasn't it? The th yeah, yeah, we were watching the third episode. I was basically saying that when we were watching the second episode, I, like last week, I was really busy and I felt like I missed some stuff. Wagon? Okay. I, uh, okay, to pick up the pink salt, okay, okay, um, you meant the way before, yeah, because this, episode three, I was a little lost, I don't know, I just, I get, I get kind of, um, I've been busy a lot more on Sundays lately, but I've been trying. I missed last night's anime club. That's probably my fault because I, I didn't have time to create an event for it. I think what I want to do is create like a repeating event so I don't have to keep making it. So I'll probably just make a like one time event thingy that doesn't change it. Chad, hey, thank you for 114 months. <laughs> How are you doing? I feel like hearing Titus's laugh always puts me in a good mood. Thanks, Chad. How are you so much faster? Um, I think we also... I also need to make the movie. I think the movie club has the poll going right now. What is winning? For those who don't know, we usually hang out on Tuesdays when we watch movies together, or movie together. This week's theme was survival, so y'all had to put in some suggestions of survival-themed movies. And then I'll create a poll and you can like choose which movie you want to you want to watch and obviously the one with the most votes wins. I'm the speedy one. Yeah, that's true. Um ah, the day after tomorrow. Y'all don't have to choose my favorite movie by the way. The day after tomorrow, 2012, Jumanji, Jumanji, Jumanji. Uh and Castaway were the votes but it looks like day after tomorrow is winning castaway and jumanji is coming up close though i can use the letter now it's jumanji now wait did i spell it wrong <laughs> 
He voted for a castaway. All right, I see how it is, Jai. You don't want to vote on my favorite one. I get it. Fine. <laughs> I haven't seen the day after tomorrow in a while. <laughs> Anyways, we I, I like to make up themes. Sometimes they're fun themes, random themes. Sometimes they're easy themes. Like survival, I feel it would be like the easy, easy one. If there's nothing on, let me know. Can I come along? Let's buy first and then we'll use the imp thingy. I think we're picking up one more option, Jibril, from Kalita. And then we're heading to tier. I'm assuming that messes up the letter. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why are you doing a circle? <laughs> I see where you are, Aaron. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Getting all the expensive goods first. Yes. My goal is my goal is airship. So that we can do more airship runs. Um mainly for fun. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow. Why is there only one when we're doing bartering? But we're, we're doing the uh, airship for fun. <laughs> I find doing airship really relaxing. I want to do a Korean drama night where we watch Korean drama and do airship runs. <laughs> we can call it something unique. I don't know. What doesn't cost do cots, there it is. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking like, what is it, K-Drama Commerce. Is there like a cool acronym we could use? KDC. Eh. Oh, the barters. More expensive the items we take, the higher the bandits. Oh, and that's why it's only a novice bandit human. But these are expensive. Do, do, do they know how long it took us to make these items? Oh, but they cost zero ducats because we made them. I get it. Okay. Cool. Is that why people like bartering so much? I mean, you still have to get off your mount and kill them, though. I guess that's kind of annoying. Kylie's rigging the vote. God <laughs> checks all account. I didn't, I mean, I had to quote vote, but I voted for all of them because I have to, I didn't even vote. I can't do that. I have to put up the, the dots for the poll. <laughs> buttholes. <laughs> Who voted? <laughs> it was not me. We believe you. Do you? Do you? <laughs> yeah, I'm currently at 3.3 Ducats, so. All right, sir. Let me buy that. Thank you. All right. I have bought the pink salt, the Himalayan pink salt. Let's turn it into a lamp. I'm far too nice to cheat. That's good to know. Now to physis. Physis.
We get to say hi to the AFKers. Is Fizz's Veils? Are we going to Veils? Is that what we're doing? Oh, okay. I thought you said we're going to Tear. Is it, is the pink salt to tear? Oh, we are. Oh, are we getting on a boat? Bumpy. Ah, oh, okay, got it. Oh, okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be here for a little bit longer and that's okay, guys. What are y'all doing right now, chat? How's work going? My Europeans, how is life going? <laughs> what do y'all normally do around this time if I'm not streaming? And y'all aren't watching streams. Commercing in spirit? I don't know if you wanna be here with us, Noelle. It's kind of a bumpy ride. You're a stowaway in the back of my wagon. <laughs> Sorry, it's so bumpy. Never, never, never know. Oh my God, reindeer. They should use these reindeer for a Christmas event. Just wrapping up at work, updating tasks, statuses, Is that where you can like check mark off stuff? I always love doing that. When I make to-do lists, it's literally just so I can check mark off my to-do list. It's so, it's so satisfying. Oh, a cup of tea sounds really good, Ian. What kind of cup of tea? And what anime? I just got home from work, welcome home. You're going to work on Blanded Book 3. Wow, you're already on Book 3. Good job. I'm so sorry in advance about the chain quest. Chain slasher quest. Oh, it's so laggy. Oh, that's what you meant by the AFKers. <laughs> Hello, guys. Don't mind us. Don't mind us. We're just coming through. <laughs> <laughs> I need to, oh, look at all these buffaloes. I need to, I need an AFK fish later. I'll probably AFK fish while I go make dinner. What should I make for dinner tonight, guys? I have chicken. We have endless amounts of rice. <laughs> Always. <laughs> pizza? Oh, I don't think we have any pizza. Or materials to make pizza. Not now, at least. I think. So making little changes to the web page I'm working on. Thinking about building a contact form. Ooh. I'm using ChatGPT to write my performance review. <laughs> hey, you know what? Use it as a tool to make it better. Do it. It's not hurting anyone. We use a task management system called Jira. Oh my god, it's like your name, Jai, but just the letters are mixed up. Sort of. I think I got uh, I think I got the idea here. <laughs> From me? Is that a good thing? I guess it's kind of like checking out, off stuff but updating tasks to done see that's satisfying chicken and rice well the thing is it's it's like white rice like asian sticky white rice that's the we eat rice like every day it's so good tom is very picky with his rice he's like he always makes the rice and he's like oh we didn't do good and I'm like looking at the rice, I'm like, what's bad about it? And he's like, it's it's too wet. And I'm like looking at it and I ate it and I was like, it tastes the same. 
He's like, no, it's not the same. <laughs> I trust him. He's eaten a lot more rice than I have in my lifetime, so. Uh, oh, chicken tacos. Oh, chicken and dumplings? How are you making the dumplings? <laughs> you say hair dryer? This is not how it works, Ian. <laughs> there is truly a difference from soaked rice and rice that's cooked just right. Uh, what do you mean just right? We usually, what we usually do is we wash the rice. Wash your rice. If y'all don't know, wash your rice a lot of times. Um, until the water is a little bit more see-through and not cloudy. And so, sometimes it can take too long and not gonna lie, we're a little lazy sometimes. We don't make it always like that. But wash your rice and then, um, soak it for 30 minutes to an hour, usually 30 minutes. And then rice cooker it up. But then you have to do the, this, only this much water. I always mess it up. <laughs> I always add too much water. Or no, I always add too much rice. Man, there's so many bandits here. But it's really good. He makes really good rice. Y'all should eat Tom's rice. It's good. I'm with Tom, always sad when my rice isn't perfect. Making dumpling, dumplings with flour, baking powder, egg, seasoning, cornmeal, and dropping in the simmering pot. Broth. Ooh. That sounds nice, Madrona. <gasps> There's a bear. There's his den. Wait, can you go in there? Oh God, you can go in there? What's in there? Bears? Is it a bear den? Overcooked rice is more watery and less chewy. It is. I'm not, I, don't, I haven't had overcooked rice though. But yeah, you're right, it is more chewy. Send some over. I'll try it. I don't think that would be a good idea to send rice in the mail. Some rice, depending on how it's prepared and uh, the length of time you make it to storing it, can actually contain really bad bacteria. So make sure you store your rice usually any leftover rice we do we just put it in the freezer um we never really put rice in the refrigerator because leftover rice can be really bad don't do that i don't know if y'all know that don't do that just throw it away or freeze it if you if you make extra rice you can just put in some plastic wrap maybe like double the plastic wrap and then put it in the microwave if you want to like heat it up. It usually takes, depending on how big of a thing you have, usually takes like four minutes in the microwave and then it tastes fresh and it's good. But yeah, don't, don't, don't let, let your rice, le don't eat too much leftover rice. I mean, uh, it's still okay, but just be careful. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare y'all. <laughs> Ah, oh, what do we do now? Do we go on? Gotta wait. Ah, okay. <laughs> Rip. We're too slow. We're two minutes, 47 seconds too slow. Don't about show. Sneeze and toes like I've forgotten. 
Just use day-old rice for fried rice instead because chicken fried rice recipe recommends day-old rice. Really. Sunrise. Sunrise. Look up in rice. With my best friend. I love this song. Um, <laughs> this is the way, <laughs> Madrona. Just put the rice in the fridge for a few hours. Yeah. I love how we're talking about rice. What else? What is another thing we could talk about that's more fun? I don't know. I'm kind of out of topics to talk about and my mind's going numb usually around this time I get really tired <laughs> like I'm really tired right now I want to go take a nap now I'm hungry sorry I need more recipes for stuff I feel like I always make the same food I want to be I want to try something new but Something that's easy for me. Nachos? I'm in like a meal, FN. Not like a side food. If I was hosting a Super Bowl party, would y'all come to my house and, and join my Super Bowl party? Even if y'all aren't football fans. I make really good guacamole. <laughs> You can make a meal from nachos. Have you ever had cowboy caviar? Freaking, I love cowboy caviar. Actually, that's what I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna make cowboy caviar tonight. It's just a dip though, but you can add it on anything and it makes everything taste good. It's just, I mean, it makes sense why you can add it on anything, but. You always make stir fry? People, if you pay for the flight ticket from Norway, I'm unfortunate. I fortunately cannot do that, Specky. I'd go to your Super Bowl party. I'd make hot wings. Oh, see, that sounds really nice. I kind of want to host a little party, but I don't. I don't watch football. I'm not really a football person, but I thought it could be really fun to have like a party. And Super Bowl is easy because it's on a Sunday. I remember this term, but I forgot what it is. What term? We are going to Dumbarton. Okay. Did it change? The Did the exchange rate change? This is good commerce. Oh, cowboy caviar. It's basically like... It's literally whatever you want in it, but it's like black beans, or black beans, black beans, pinto beans, all the color, red bell, or red, or bell peppers, all the colors, red, orange, yellow, maybe green, doesn't matter, you can do whatever you want, corn, sweet corn, um, mango, if you like mango, Olives. Hold on. Jalapenos, red onion. I'm not a fan of jalapenos, so I don't add jalapenos. Oh, excuse me. And candied jalapenos, which I don't want that. Uh, feta cheese. That's actually a really important one to add, feta cheese. Or uh, cod cottage. I've never had that cheese, though. Avocados. Oh, shoot. I forgot to buy avocados. Dang it. 
Uh, and then you, for the dressing, you use lime, like limes, juice, the juice of three limes, olive oil, white wine vinegar, which I feel is so random, but white wine vinegar, taco seasoning, salt and pepper, and spicy honey, or just honey. And obviously you don't have to add that stuff, but that's cowboy caviar. It's really good. It's like a really good dip, but then you can like add as a topping for like tacos or anything. Never mind, you went too far. <laughs> what? Hi, Matito. How are you doing? Super Bowl is fun. Just pick one team to cheer for and yell things like "throw them in, throw them on the ground." Oh my God, Madrona! I would love to have you at my my Super Bowl party. I might honestly do one. Who would I invite? I'd probably invite Allie. I'd invite Allie. What, caviar? Cowboy caviar. Cowboy caviar. No mayo. No. No. No mayo. What has that got? No, that, that has no business being in my caviar. What I just come into? We're talking about food. If I had a Super Bowl party, Vitito, would you want to come? Even if you don't watch football? <laughs> Am I streaming late today? I'm streaming until this commerce thing is done. Which probably isn't going to be too far along, and that's okay. Why, do you want me to end, Zang? Are you tired of looking at my face and listening? <laughs> You gotta invite Taylor Swift. She's going to the Super Bowl and celebrating her man, all right? I, uh, yeah. That would be so cool, though. <laughs> they yeed too hard. What? Yeed? What is yeed? It's more so the boat ride that's gonna take some time. It's okay. We like boats here, don't we? We used to own a pontoon boat. Me and my family, we used to hold, roll, ride a pontoon boat. And every weekend we'd go out on the lake. That was really nice. I was kind of blessed to have that opportunity as a child. But the lake smelled stinky. So every time we came home, we smelled like lake water. Blech. Hi, Sarkozy. I do not watch football, but sure. <laughs> Yeet the ha. <laughs> I don't watch it either, Petito. But you know what? Taylor Swift's man is in the running. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I like to see the performance and the ads. Oh! We're good. I don't care about Taylor. What? It's okay. You don't have to care. Just know that it's a really beautiful love story, okay? Everybody loves a good love story, right? Like, look at this. Look how happy they look. Like, you don't even have to, like, know them. But look how cute. Look how nice. Look how happy they are. Look how cute. Ah! You don't even have to know her or care about her music. That's just nice. That's just nice. That it's cute, right? It's Taylor Swift versus San Francisco. <laughs> ah. She'll be on to the next guy in 18 months. No, don't say that. This is the one, one and done. Cute photo, but surface level. What does that mean? Like they needed to take the photo from up higher to get like a better angle. Oh, you don't see everything? So, better angle? She 
She's too powerful a queen. She needs a real king. Oh, you don't think Travis is the real king? Who would be the real king? Like an actual, like, aristocrat? Like, actual royal? You don't know how they are off camera? Yeah, it's true. They could be absolutely miserable to each other. And she's just doing it. I was literally kidding. I knew what you meant by <laughs> you don't see everything. Um, I was just pulling your leg, Effin. I hope not, Batito. Uh, imagine being good enough for TS to Swifties. Oh, for Taylor Swift to Swifties. <laughs> Stop pulling my leg. I'm tall enough. <laughs> I want to be taller. Hi, Pori. Yeah, we're on a boat. We're on a boat right now. I don't even like her music, but she's real powerful and smart. Yeah, she, 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 she make a lot of money. She powerful. Yeah, Ian. I couldn't go on a cruise. I would literally puke. But don't they have like little um things you wear behind your ears that really, really help with seasickness? And you can get them on cruises? They have those. Um I don't know how I'm not seasick. I'm not I don't get seasick motion sickness on on boats however anytime on a boat or a plane or in a car and I'm looking down and reading something I'll get sick I'll get sick 100% I can't do that I can't like sit down and like I can't look at like TikTok. I can't read something I can't like look down and perform in some kind of like I don't know reading or whatever or watching it makes me feel so nauseated but I wonder if those little thingies that you stick behind your ear help. I don't know. We made it! That boat ride wasn't long. It's the snails in your ears getting confused. The snails? I've never heard that before. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh. <laughs> the snails? Oh, is that what it's called, Madrona? A scopolamine. Lamine? Scopolamine? Scopolamine. Scopa! <laughs> if you look at a picture of the inside of an ear, it's a snail. Oh, does it look like a snail? God, oh God. Oh, crap. I was trying to type. <gasps> Wait, there's so many here. Picture of inside of ear snail. Oh, it does look like a snail. It does look like a snail. That's so weird. Our ears are so, stuff in our bodies are so weird. Oh, use the letter. Good point. Use. Golden hour. Okay. Isn't that crazy? We evolved to having snails in our ears. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. It's a little tricky going up that mountain. I'm not delusional. <laughs> oh my god. What? You like your snails? Remember that dude from Sp uh, Space Cases? What is that? Space Cases? 
They keep me from hearing the voices. <laughs> Some people's snails are rude and are constantly screaming at them. What is it called? Tinnitus? 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 Where you kindly, you hear like a really high pitch. Eee! Like, like all the time. It's so annoying. And you can get like temporary tendonitis. Also, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I feel for those people that have that though. How annoying. Oh my God, I don't know who that is. Oh my God, his ear does look weird. That guy has a lot of wisps around him. Wisps, pss, 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 pss. Tinnitus. Tinnitus. You do, Madrona? I am so sorry. Tinnitus. It happens all the time. Mm. It was on Nickelodeon. Only seven hours you have been on Mabby the whole time? Uh, well, technically, the first hour I was in just chatting because I normally talk to my chat. Uh, what did we talk about? We talked about, um, uh, the best way to make a million dollars, so... That stinks if you aren't here for that. Uh, I also gave away cars. So that stinks if you weren't there for that either. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was talking about this house. Dang it. Oh my God, it's so hard to... Hold on, let me see if I can do this. Look at this house. Look at this house. Look at this room. Look at it. Anyways, it's a $2.2 .2 million house. Ah! Cottage. But look how they decorated it. it. Looks so cool, doesn't it? I was saying how it looks like the, uh, like the, like a set from Knives Out or some kind of, like, murder mystery, like, house. Right? It looks so freaking cool. Um, that's the only two cool rooms, though. I don't really like any of the other rooms. <laughs> Right? I think the the red ceiling looks so unique. Like it's such a unique feel to like interior decorating. I like it. I don't really like all the animals though. And like that bear rug. Not my not my vibe. Um whoa. But everything else looked really cool. I can't do I turn it in now? We did it! Do I just sell all of them? Okay. Okay, guys, I have 3.3 .3 seasonal Ducats. Uh-oh. Do I keep... <laughs> all my money's on the ground. Do I keep selling here it is? Eridus, do I keep selling everything? <laughs> do I click OK? Run! Do I click OK? Do you want to submit? Okay, yeah. Ah, I gotta run! I gotta run to the bank! How much money did I make? I made 5.8 million Ducats! All right, I have that total. Holy cow, bartering is freaking amazing. But you make so much money that you, <laughs> you can't, you, I can't hold all the money that you get from doing these runs. So you have to like drop all your gold on the ground and then you have to go back and pick it up. Luckily, nobody else can like pick up your gold. Look at that. And they're all like, 50, they're all 50k. Oh, sorry, that song is bad. 
First world problems. Money! Okay, let's see how... Oh, no! I have to go back to the bank again. <laughs> wow, that's already 2.2 million gold. So we made uh, a little over 2.2 million gold. And what is, what is 5.8 minus 3.3? a lot man but now we can i can buy an airship woohoo <laughs> do i have any remote bank passes uh no it's okay we're good we got the gold <laughs> we got the gold 300k wow easy <laughs> yeah i guess so there's some of those that i don't know how you made but or how you got them but holy guacamole now we can have now we have more airships guys we have two airships now now we won't leave anybody out not that i ever wanted to do that it was just kind of necessary because you can only have eight people per run here do you want your stuff back the stuff I didn't use, like this, and do you want the paper back? I have a feeling, oh, okay. Nah, keep it, okay. Money. Has anyone heard anything on the game, Grand Blue? Uh, Evan's been playing it. You will use it again later, probably. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, I need to stop streaming. I'm tired. 